That's your left analog stick. This will show you the bomb target view. Pressing the L3 button after the missile has been fired will show you the missile's view so you can see where it's going. Well, Alex, you've seen the bomb target view. Live from Austin, Texas, where we're starting the year off with a blast! Ha! It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Thank you for batting the microphone. I was gonna say, you mean blasting the microphone? Yeah. <laughs> Alex, when uh, telling me the show was on, decided to give the, the microphone yeah, a little I love tap. Yeah, I gave the ghost sign literally so twice back in the microphone. That's, that's, what, that's what you heard there. Alex giving you a nice little pat on the head. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's 2023. We're back with more weird games. And, uh, yeah, that's what we do. We're here, year to year to year, with the games just keep getting weirder. And so do we. And we're queer. <laughs> Listen, you were saying all these ear rhymes. I had to insert it. All I was like, I'm seeing you Yeah, at here. the very end. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yes, we're a Twitch retro stream, and we're playing a bunch of video games today. And we're queer. Sorry, I just had to yell it out in case people in the chat didn't know. All right, we're here. We're queer. And Alex <laughs> is going to yell out the names of all the people who subscribed and gave us bits and stuff. Take it away, Alex. All right, thank you so much to Puss 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 for the 45-month resub. Do appreciate that. I'm getting better thank at you. saying your name. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Nelson JD, 21-month resub. Infogrames is a blast. We were listening to that in the pre-show. They, they rock my world. Thank you. Thank you, Reverb, for the 30-month resub. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, Sneaker Nets. A hundred bits with the cookie blessing. Yes, we had cookie in the pre-show, too. Cookie blesses us all. Thank you. Thank you, Chubo. 19-month reset. Hey, Chubo, I hate that foot. Thank you for the foot. That's a great foot, Danny Chubo. Danny likes a foot. Danny was like, oh, that's a good foot. And I actually was like, no, Danny, it's not. We actually had a little discussion about it. Yeah, we had a last-minute disagreement before the show. <laughs> thank you, Manx, a lot. 39-month reset. Appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you, 240-foot slaps. 34 months. Get used to it. I will. I'm used I to will it. I will get used to being queer. And thank you, the Ultimo. 49 month Risa blast is greater than Phoenix and here come all the feet. Here come the feet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you everybody. Thank you. Oh boy, it's time to do it. I've long threatened to do a, a long stream featuring Europe exclusive PS2 games. This is a this is a field that I'm not too well versed in. There's a few games of course I downloaded as a joke be like, "Haha, what does Home Alone look like on PS2?" Surely this company hasn't produced literally 30 other games that are just as shitty. <laughs> and uh, tonight we're going to find out if that's true. We're going to find out if Blast Entertainment's catalog for the European PS2 has anything worth playing in it. Anything. That's what I hope to do. Sepasai, thank you for the 100 bits. And thank Vega you. Baby, thank you for the many months. Thank you for the 11 months. Shall we show them the poll results? Yeah, this is how the poll results went. We put two titans of value-priced gaming up against one another for this uh, week's patron poll. The first of the year. Kicking things off with Phoenix Games versus Blast Entertainment. It was a close battle. It was a tough one. But in the end, the people voted for Blast. I don't... I still want to cover Phoenix Games one of these days. I think... I have a feeling that that'll be a super cursed stream, though. Just like, yeah. we're not even ready for it. We're going to have to go through an entire year of shitty games before we're ready for Blast. So, uh... I mean, uh, Phoenix, that is. So thanks, everybody, for voting like you did. We're going to play you. Blast. And we're then, uh, off. Then we'll be ready for everything. <sighs> Anything and everything. Thank you, Sasquatchulous. 58 month resub. I'm here to have a blast. My favorite licenses are here, and they all look like garbage. Babe, pig in the mud. <laughs> there are multiple games based on pig centric uh, movie licenses. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that uh, Gordy is not one of them. Sorry, Gordy. Bullshit. <laughs> Alex is the number one Gordy fan. I am. He's pig power. This stream will also represent. Uh, the launch of emulation of the PS2 on this channel. Usually we like to play on original hardware, but in cases like this, where the games are like 50 megabytes each, and on real hardware they would take like three minutes to boot up each just to play it for like one minute and be like, wow, this is shit. <laughs> I figure uh, PCX2, PCSX2 will be our uh, best bet for tonight. Mm -hmm. Plus, if they glitch out, uh, 
things will be even funnier. It'll look cool. Yeah, it'll look cool. Shall We're going to go through the whole catalog. Blast Entertainment blighted the PS2 in Europe between 2006 and 2008. During that time, they released around uh, three dozen games. Mm-hmm. No idea if we're going to get through all of them tonight, but let's do it. Let's start off with number one. We're going through A to Z. First oh. off, Alex, what's our first game? Action Man, Adam, A-T-O-M, Alpha Teens, on Machines. That's a good start. Let's do that. Are you sure that's a good start? Mm-hmm. Where are these alphas? Action Man. Action Man. So you know what Action Man is, right? Of course, we all do. But did you know that there was a spinoff based on teenagers? The Alpha Teenagers. I did not. I did not. These are actual licenses in many cases. He real slavic bear for the 66-month recent. Hello and Happy New Year to you, too. Happy New Year. When was the last time you thought about Jetix, Alex? It's been a while since cropped a little weird here. Hold on. If you mess up my cropping, I swear to God. I had to uncrop it because it was uh, cutting off the edges. <laughs> okay. You're getting the full screen. Yeah, you're getting These it These games are presented in their original resolution. That's why there's a little bit of a bezel on screen. I didn't want there to be any stretching, any sort of transformation to the image. This is pure emulator to OBS gameplay. Also, what the fuck is this? I've never heard of this. <laughs> Uh, it looks like it was part of the fake anime craze of the early 2000s. This is some Jetix shit, yeah. Yeah, this is Jetix. This is the quality of licenses we're dealing with. I mean... It's all going to be like this? Oh no, this is way higher quality than what we're uh, going to experience. I know it's genetic shit, but this I don't g- remember this when, when I was watching... I guess I wasn't watching enough children's animated series during this time period. Did this air in America? I have no idea. Anyone want to confirm? I was going to say, you're all cartoon freaks. Do you know this? Cartoon freaks, do you know what uh, Action Man Adam, the spinoff, is? Tell me. Memory card. It did air in America. Okay. Okay, thank God. Let's play. Welcome to Landmark City. Welcome to Placeholder City. Look at him! We gotta stop some criminals or something. Let's gear it up. A lot of people remember the Action Man, like, 3D series, but not Alpha Teens on Machine. The PS2 still feels so new to me. No, we're not. It feels weird to be playing a game this new on the Retro Pal stream. Is it a little loud? So, in testing this out, I figure out you you can't turn for shit in this game. You try to turn and it's just like nothing. Let's take the lower route. (laughs) You see this? I tried to break. I never break in racing games. I made an exception here and they refused to meet me halfway. Oh, there we go. God, you gotta turn so hard. I was saying I remember Action Man, but I think I'm confusing him with Action Max. In fact, I'm 100% confusing him with Action Max. <laughs> the VHS-driven uh, entertainment console. Yeah. Dang. Can I get Hello? up on the wall? Is your car okay? It's looking. It was looking like it started to drive up the wall for a second, and I got excited. <laughs> 100 bits from the Ultimo asking me if I uh, snuck in a flash game. No, this is a real game. This is a real. We're on two wheels. Oh, anyway, I should get back to my training. I was gonna say, are you sure you can control the car when I'm clicked away? Yeah, sure. Okay. God. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to drift? Is there drifting in this? It uh, looks like it. Wow. It's not so much drifting as, as it is fishtailing. Uh, d- uh, okay. This was a 2007 game. I love it. Action teens love driving cars that control like boats. 
They're not action teens, they're alpha teens. Danny, oh, are right, you an alpha teen? Oh, hell no. Is anybody an alpha teen? Actually, I don't want to meet any alpha teens. That sounds really annoying. I was a gamma teen. Yeah, I was a uh, omega teen. I don't know what that means. I'm afraid. You're all about omega vitamins. I am. I love omega fish oil. I keep trying to drive on the wall because I think there's like a, a trick to this. Because <laughs> driving and steering as normal clearly is not working. Oh, I oh, did it. Oh, it said good driving. I guess so. Theta teen, beta adults. Oh, yeah, I'm a Sigma male. I sigma forgot. teens. I don't know what Sigma male is, but I've heard of the Sigma six, so I'm a Sigma male. This song sounds like a, a Guileco song. It sounds like something that'll be played in a Smashing Drive or something. It does sound like Smashing Drive. I am in that Mr. Bean grind set. Hope we got some Mr. Bean fans here. Because uh, Blast Entertainment, we're fans too. Nice, thank you all for the hype. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh cool. Oh my god, look at how he moves. I'm a cool little I robot. I was going to say, thank you all for the hype train. Thank you, Ultimo, 100 bits. Yeah, there was no 2007 haze. It's all uh, this. But, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, the robot can't steer for shit either. Thank you all to everyone watching. Thank you, Dream Air, you're live for the raid. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but we're playing Alpha <laughs> Teen, Teens on Machines. Um, yeah, that's basically what it is. I don't know what else to say. How would your stream go? How was that Sonic Frontiers? I got that uh, the other day. I still haven't played it yet, though. Oh, yeah, that finally came in the mail. I ordered that for you from before Christmas, and they were like, we're not shipping it until in January. Which I wasn't gotta, very nice of them. I gotta take down these, these other guys or something. This looks very barren, this space here. Did I get him? What? Oh my god, it's a cyber truck! What? What'd you do? I don't know! I got interdimensionalized. Thank you, Bing Bing Wahoo Yahoo, for the 100 bit Ligma mail bit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, yeah, see, it looks like that horrible thing that's gonna be on the road. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Got him. Gets ass. Get the fuck out of here, cyber truck. I, I, the, the thing that sucks is I just, I'm a pedestrian and I'm so afraid of being hit by a cyber truck. <laughs> that would hurt. Oh, so, oh, oh nice. okay. Yeah, All right. okay. Yeah, now okay. we're talking. All right, come here. Come here, cyber fucks. I think a lot about what cars I would and wouldn't want to be hit by. Yeah. Would you yeah. like to be hit by a nice uh, Geo? Yeah, a Geo or, you know, those new uh, those new USPS trucks that have like those little duck bills? Those look fine. I get oh, hit yeah. by that. You could be run over that by those off. all day. Yeah, I'd be fine. I'd be like, oof, ow, instead of dead. All right, maybe this game's pretty cool. Maybe if this was in an open world environment and we were like gangsters or something. I think what I want to play is GTA. I was going to say, are you sure you want to play this game? Thank you, Gambardian, for the 100 bits. Good to Whoa, see you, Whoa, my too. robot fell over. Your robot's Help. dead. Thank you, Gambardian. <laughs> um, dead robot, just for you. Oh. Did you mess up the game? No, I just heard the sound of someone putting our robot out of his misery. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to our next game. Let's All not right. worry about that robot. Goodbye, friend. I triple tapped him. It's gotta be an easier way to close the game. Oh, yeah, it, it's system and then shut down. Okay, good. <laughs> I should have told you before the stream. No worries. Okay. It's, okay. Next up. Let's uh, let's play this. Why don't we why don't we just launch the games and let it be a surprise? Alright. Folks, this one's good. I'm surprised to see this particular property show up on the uh <laughs> the PS2 considering it's a little bit out of its time. It's made by the brain geniuses at Data Design Interactive. I don't like that logo. The people who brought you Ninja Bread Man. Gods. Gods of gaming. But huh. it's got the official universal license for a beloved film. This guy. Did you remember him? We talk about this guy a lot, actually. We do, for some reason. <laughs> Wait, is English not an option? Where the fuck? Where's my English option? Continue air. You don't get an English option. You have 11 languages in here and not one Top of them Top left? 
Top left? Is that what Chad hey, really? is saying? Okay. Is that, is that English? Top left. Yeah, I guess that's English. Okay. I don't know what, what that means. That's England's flag? Since when? I guess it is. Where's the good old Union Jack, mate? Yeah, I don't know this stuff. Oh my god, this is the title screen. Wow, good title screen. Wow. Well, this is Data wow. Design Interactive. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at this the world, guy. The world of Don Bluth has never been better visualized. <laughs> so what kind of game do you think this is? I'm guessing 3D platformer. Yeah. Data Design made a few uh, few of those. Ninja Bread Man. Are rock and Roll kidding? Adventures. You can't just use this as your title screen? Yeah, you can. Cool, we can just watch some Don Bluth. Oh, man. You're going to have to cut this part out of the archive, probably. <laughs> Everybody enjoy the exclusive clips from An American Tale. Wow, this game looks great. It's so cartoony. Put a big rollo over it. <laughs> Don Blues is not meant for kids. Roll Fievel in his soap bubble through the ship in order to get back to the center of the ship. Make sure... Oh my god, is this Monkey Ball? It's Monkey Ball. What? It's an American tale. Presents Monkey Ball. I, I screamed Chat? this I screamed Chat? this for about 40 seconds before Chat? the stream, and it was unplayable. This game is literally Chat? unplayable. Chad! Oh, yeah, gosh. he's escaping pogroms to be on his soap bubble? Yeah, it's basically the story of a uh, Super Monkey Ball. Somewhere out there, I'll roll around a lot. <laughs> My God, this is... It's so hard to keep control sucks. of him, and he keeps glitching out. Girl, this sucks. What the hell? No way, this rules. It's so okay. weird how the only American Tale games we've seen and played on stream are many years past the movie's prime. We saw the, the Super Nintendo platformer. On Mascot Friday. Now we have this. Okay, so apparently this game does things other than just Monkey Ball, but it's impossible to get to, so <laughs> you probably won't see it. Why'd they even bother making more? Because no one's ever going to get past this. An American Tale? Why is it European exclusive? Yeah, why? Why didn't they call it a European Tale? Hey, he animates really stupidly. I'm sorry. He does. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bible. You're just a little rat child. This is the be... worst playing monkey ball I've ever played in my kind. life. I should be kind. He's one of... He's... I, I'm, I'm one of him. I, I'm also a little... Yeah, you're also a little gay rat. I am a little gay rat. Is this Fievel gay? Fievel's... <coughs> Fievel is who Fievel is. None of my business. Moreover, why not base it on the more recent movie, uh, Fievel Goes West? I was gonna say, I don't know if Fievel is gay, but I know the cat's gay. No offense to the cat, but that cat was really gay. A lot of Don Bluth only knows how to do cats as either menacing or gay. Or both. Or Yeah, that's true. Alright. It's so freaking hard to maintain your balance. Not used to these new analog sticks. Why didn't video games just stay digital? Who's a menacing gay cat? Oh my god, Scar from The Lion King. The Don Bluth classic. I mean, yeah, he's not, it's not Don Bluth, but, you know, it's, it's, it's where there's a menacing gay cat. I want to say there was a menacing gay cat in Rockadoodle, but I could be confusing God, them. It's so fucking twitchy. I don't know if Dom DeLuise, I don't know anything about Dom DeLuise's sexuality. Did I don't you drink my fucking water? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, hold on, folks. Tess came out of her cave just to drink Danny's water and demand to be let out. So one. Yeah, one we sec. have a cat in here. I got my water burgled. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> okay, no. There you go. Be good. This is so so difficult. Thank you, Bing Bing Wahoo Yahoo, for the hundred bits. There was, of course, the the gay owl and Rockadoodle. Yeah. Ah, oh no, I'm back on the other side. Next game. Are we done? <laughs> I'm sick of this. Okay. Why Hold would on. you? Why would you get the American Tail license just to do this to it? Is this what anyone wanted? Is this what Fievel wanted? 
This Look is... at his face. Oh my god, I love Fievel's face. Okay. I yeah, thought that was a tongue at first. Oh, instead of his nose? Yeah. Oh. Go away, Fievel. No, do a oh, system yeah. shutdown. Thank you. Next. Next up. Oh man, this is a game for Alex. Yeah, Danny was actually like, you're playing this next game. I think you're going to like this one. Okay. You were complaining over the file size because some of these games are like 50 megabytes. Yeah, this one is really small. Like, a lot of these aren't very big at all. Oh, it's got textures on it. Is this yeah, you got the advanced controller. I hate advancements. I want to go back in time. Okay. From your friends at Aqua Pacific, they bring you Babe. <laughs> They made a Babe game, and they released it on the PS2 this is in Europe. Babe picking the city. See, see the city. Oh, this nice! Is babe picking the city. Hey, they got the likeness rights for this one. Wow, wow! An official this looks Babe like game. Shit. You don't know that. You don't know that this is shit. <laughs> I just wanted to see. What if it was a password? Well, I'm all out of ideas. I gotta try. I should. Damn it! I should have put in gay. Oh, you should have put in pig. Okay, there was a pig. He's a good pig. He had to defend his title at cheap trials. Uh huh. I think you're gonna like this game. All right. <laughs> okay, so it turns out this wasn't the pig game I was thinking of, but you get to play all the pig games tonight. I've decided. How cool am I? I'm in charge of pigs. It's for whenever there's a whenever there's a pig property, Alex is in charge. Yeah, Minmo. We got Minmo. Look at this PS2 game with PS2 graphics. <laughs> Good morning, babe. Giant dog. She will keep running. This is looking like a, a GBA game to me. Or maybe like bit. The Sims 1. Some people saying this rules. This does look like it, it rules. Okay. Not many games let you play as a little pig. There should be more, frankly. Good job, babe! Yeah, what? You hit the checkpoint. Thank you, Simon. 100 bits is a mere. Does the game have plug and play energy? It does. It does. That, yeah, the, the, the graphics, the pre renderedness, the weird GBA ness of it. Definitely plug and play quality. <laughs> Thank you, Ultimo, for the 100 bits. Yeah, this is Farmville. Actually, I prefer Heyday. Are either of those games still working? Who even knows? Heyday is, is gone, I think. Is it? I loved Heyday. It, it's, it got ripped off by, like, all the other games, so... Yeah, well, that's no reason to... <laughs> to quit your game. Okay, so I'm at the checkpoint. Oh, I can move the food! Oh, that's helpful. Okay, I want the food to be... here. Look, I, I prefer to think of the Comic Sans as a plus. This is not a negative in my book. There we go. Oh, you gotta manage the sheep. It's got block-pushing puzzles. Yeah, that's all this is so far. I was watching a stream of Goof Troop before this with uh, G. Pool and Lily Hops, and let me tell you, that game looks a whole lot better than this. Whoa! He's going ham. Don't do that. Thank you, Saz, for the 100 bits. Get that oink counter way up. Alex, you gotta oink. You gotta start oinking and, and don't ever stop. Don't stop till you get enough oinking. Okay, let's go. Is that an ape in a dress? It is. Yeah, Alex just completely no-sold my excellent going ham joke. Sorry, just sorry. completely ignored it. I need to see this guy is why. What? Alex? What the fuck is this? Other than our thumbnail for this episode. Keep looking at it! I don't like it. There! <laughs> this is your soul, Danny! <laughs> Alright. We're up to 60 oinks. Can we hit 70? No, oh, Alex is gonna make us wait for that. Babe, you fell down a hole! Babe fell down a hole! I hate this game! So hard to control. This did that did that kill all the audio? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. Oh boy. 
So uh, this should give you an idea of what uh, what we're in for with Blast Entertainment. Um, if you're unfamiliar, uh, Blast Entertainment was a label started off of a famous company by the name of Mastertronic. That was a company in the UK who basically invented the idea of value games, that being uh, budget price games for the ZX Spectrum. The idea, of course, is that uh, the games are cheap, so you can get them for less money. And uh, they're also they're completely terrible most of the time. They took that philosophy all the way from the ZX Spectrum to the PS2, <laughs> where they continued to license uh, whatever licenses were cheap and make games that looked like this. Okay, I so that should, I got that should explain Blast Entertainment a little bit better. <laughs> they weren't at the level of uh, Phoenix Games, who decided to start selling games in like grocery stores and drug stores and stuff. That's why the quality of Phoenix games are so much worse. Like, they just got distributed everywhere for, like... Because you could pick up, like, Animal Soccer World for, like, 8 pounds, whereas most PS2 games were, like, 30 or 40 pounds. So you'd be thinking, oh, this is an 8-pound game. I'm getting 8 pounds worth of entertainment from this. Okay, I think I got this. I just want to get this pit... The sheep. Exactly, targeting the confused grandma demographic. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, grandma sees a game with a, a pig on the cover. She's thinking that's going to be a good game for um, Don't go in the hole. little Timmy. Don't go in the hole. And then Timmy spends the next eight hours making Babe fall into a hole. Don't go in a hole. Okay. So far, so good. All right. Oh, you stuck. You, you put her in checkmate is what you did. You pushed the thing there so that you can't. Push it yeah, back. I can't move it back. You checkmated your own sheep, Alex. Are you ready to move on to our next game? Yeah, let's let's roll the oint counter first. Okay, actually, I do want to see how I can go over a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Halfway there. I can't believe you just fell in a hole. You sunk my battle sheep. Oh man, we hit triple digits! Okay, I don't think I can roll over to to, to, to a thousand, but oh, we're, you're you're a tenth of the way there, though. Let's see if you can hit uh, two hundred fifty-six. <laughs> That's the usual point where games crash. So why is there a why is there an oink meter and why is he head banging? I made Alex push the oink button two hundred fifty-six times for this stream. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Can I go on to next game? Yeah, next game. Good work, Alex. We're all proud of you. That game was only 81 megs. I want to let you know. That is 81 megabytes of pure gaming pleasure right there. Action, both Action Man and American Tale are 200 megs. Okay, and our next game is uh, a little bit under 300 megabytes. The, the game just froze on our screen. No, that's fine, actually. <laughs> that's what we want. Okay, that's cool. This is a very friendly emulator to work with uh, OBS. Let me recommend PCSX2 as an emulator if you're looking for PS2 video game emulation. Yeah, this has actually been really easy yeah, on just, my end. Just, this has been nice. I'm going to do a lot of shit. Just very recently, they updated their UI to actually be usable, so that's nice. You know, the UI is really good. I actually am enjoying using this. I keep saying I'm actually at, but it's just... Usually I'm not that happy to be using an emulator. No offense to emulators who I love. Oh, man! This is Beverly Hills Cop from Blast Entertainment on the PS2, featuring the hit theme song, Axel uh, L. No, Axel Y. <laughs> Axel Y. <laughs> this is one of the more famous ones. I have an original, uh, actual copy of this game. I like it so much. Beverly Hills Cop, Beverly Hills Cop, Beverly Hills. 2006. There he is. The star of the show. <laughs> the star of all the Beverly Hills Cop movies. Eddie Murphy, never looking better. I ain't falling for no banana in the tailpipe. Looking very, uh... Yeah. No, it looks just like him. What are you talking about? Okay. So it's a, so a first-person shooter. Uh-huh. And uh, luckily for us, it's stealth-based. Looks like I'll be going in with the trash. The great thing about this scene is uh, it's one of those things where if you get spotted, it's instant game over, and you gotta start the scene over. And you have to watch this fly over every single time. You can't skip it. Is Netflix doing a new Beverly Hills Cop? 
does does anybody do, do we? I hope it's based on this game. I do too. So this first part, if you get seen by anybody, it's instant game over. Metal Gear Solid style. Oh no, I'm not playing all of these. Nanny's only making me play the games. With the thing is, these guys can't hear. Oh, never, never mind. Usually you can just <laughs> Danny! usually you can just fire off your gun anytime, but if they're facing towards you, they might develop some hearing. Danny, we'll get it this time. Don't okay. worry about it. Okay. Just gotta ch channel the the great Axel F. <laughs> Looks like I'll be going in with the trash. <laughs> Do 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 boop ba doop boop doop doop do doop boop. That's a tiger piss? Oh, yeah, tiger piss. Cool. This is an eagle this is an evil tiger piss hoarding ring. Oh, that's terrible. They're disguising themselves as uh, mechanics. They just feed like Mountain Dew and energy drinks to tigers all day. It's awful. Bing Bing Wahoo, there are multiple crazy frog games there on PS two. And some of them even got released in the States. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how we let that happen. I don't even think there's a crouch in this game. Like, <laughs> you just kind of have to wander around and hope the bad guys don't see you. Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Okay. He listened. Thank you for the 100 bits, the Ultimo. <laughs> it's... What can you say? Okay, don't get caught. Okay, you got it. Don't shoot him. But I want to shoot him. Don't. Don't. The thing is, you get a, f a few seconds after you get caught to think about what you did. Oh, man. And you can try and shoot the guys, but it doesn't actually deal any damage. Looks like you're going in with the trash. Oh, hey, you know? that's my line. You look interesting. Looks like I'm getting dressed with the trash. Hey, you mechanic, get back to work. Okay. Did you did you see the way he fell? Yeah. He just kind of went wee. Quality American car. <laughs> they just not care. They care a little bit. They just don't know how to. They're struggling to care. This guy, this guy is especially struggling to care. This guy, <laughs> I don't know what his deal is. Oh, I think that was just an NPC. Oops. can really just fill these men with bullets. Yeah, they're designed to only interact with you if you're on the same level. So if uh, if they don't have a way to get up to you, they don't really know what to do. That guy just disappeared into the ether. That was cool. <laughs> uh, this is not what the movie Beverly Hills Cop is about. It does not involve... Uh, just a bunch of men running into their cars. This guy is taking like three full clips to the dick right now. Finally got him. We got the keys. You got the keys. Hey. Well, this guy found his way up to my level, but he doesn't know what to do after that point. It's like... Oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. He figured something out. You know what? I also think that Blast Entertainment doesn't have the money for Eddie Murphy's likeness. Look at this. I don't think that's an emulation that happens issue. If, that happens if you mess up in Second Life. <laughs> I know how to fix that. The textures are like, the, the, there's overlap of the models. Are you going to be a problem, Looks this like, guy? Oh, oh, he's running. I don't trust these guys to make a first-person shooter is the thing. But here we are, in that situation. This guy's just gonna watch me. I'm going back up, fuck yeah, this. Fuck that, not worth it. Not worth it! <laughs> it's my first day of the job! Come on! 
I barely know what a car is. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't Hello, this. sirs. This must be one of those mechanics. Oh, I'm firing at the invisible wall. Oh, bullshit! <laughs> I like the invisible, uh, I like the invisible, uh, bullet holes. Let me see if I can get a better. There we go. There you go. Someone described these games as being, like, not just fake video games that were on a TV show, but are, like, fake video games that are being played on a fake TV show within a real TV show. Yeah, yeah, it, it does feel too level there's removed a, from reality. There's a couple layers of abstraction here, yeah. Like, there's a lot of work that. that has to be done do before that. this can be a real video game. He shot, like, 20 times. I think he was only vulnerable in the head. All right, we made it. Can't go in here just yet. Okay. Restoring my robot body. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in pretty good health for being shot at. I got shot a lot. There's a thing you gotta find somewhere in here. God, I have such a soft spot for licensed games. I miss when games used to look like this, when, <laughs> when games could get away with looking like this. Like, this level of detail. Mm -hmm. I think this level of detail is awesome. Like, you don't need video games to look this much better than this. You don't. This is, this is as good as video games need to get. It doesn't need more graphics. It's good Whoops. like this. All right. Gotta, gotta aim for the head. They all have body armor on. So is this better or worse than Half-Life? Um, well, I've played a lot of this, and I haven't played any of Half-Life, so uh, no, I think I this is better. <laughs> I was going to say, case closed. Best go find it. I'd best go find it. One of those computer geeks. All right, let's rustle up. A geek. A geek. Nice engine. Someone actually took the time to model this, and then they couldn't even fit it into a car. So they had to like, just put sorry. it on a table. I don't. Danny, would you ever do a Half-Life stream? Um, it doesn't sound very interesting to me, so probably not. I don't like PC games. That's fair. I was thinking of one big thing I was thinking of doing for the stream is like uh, doing a poll of whether I play through Half-Life or Deus Ex, two mm -hmm. games I've never played. And uh, one game I play through all the way, and the other game I just never play ever again for the rest of my life. It'll That's be a, a pretty good gambit. It'll be a good high-stakes stream. Yeah. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get, gotta put on the charm for this guy. Whew. If you answer red, it's instant game over, by the way. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta get green. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What happened? Well, we got the password out of the guy, and then we were instantly executed <laughs> by the guy standing right next to us the entire time. Good. That's uh, that's Beverly Hills Cop for the PS2, a personal favorite. Next game. That was a really good ending. I'm very happy about that. This is the biggest file. Whoa. One of the biggest files on the list. This so. game is 570 megabytes. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be at least three times as good as Beverly Hills Cop. Just... Beverly Hills Flop. It's good. I should play Half-Life and Deus Ex recreated in Gary's mod. That sounds like a good compromise to me, and I don't think anything will uh, will be lost. You should just play Gary's mod. Hit entertainment. It's your friend and mine. Thank you, Sneaker Nuts, for the bits. I'm glad you did the math. Yeah, do the math. It's Bob the Builder. Hey, this guy. You know him. That guy who's always building. What's he building in there? Warning. Don't play this video game. That looks like it's emulated, right? That's fine. Don't worry about it. 
Boink. Cool. Now, the Bob the Builder people, they want their games to be quality. Mm -hmm. So I actually have high hopes for this one. It keeps looking like they're redacting parts of the screen. The screen. I want to be one of those people who's like, actually, Bob the Builder is really deep if you if you actually know the lore. And oh. It's pretty grim, yeah. Bob, you know Bob from Bob the Builder? Uh huh. He's dead. He's what? Yeah, and this is all. This is him in heaven building the kingdom. Of heaven. He's trying to fix his life. Thank you. I missed it earlier, but thank you, Teddy Furphy, for the five dollar donation. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Let's start on easy mode. This looks a little too complex for me. Bob's not dead, he's gay. Okay, I like that more. <laughs> okay, team. It's a gay allegory. Today. Wendy's done a great job researching and ordering all the parts. It was fun. I guess it's a uh, claymation. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have, Wendy. Yeah, it's and I think motion. you should be in charge. You've done all the work. Really? Oh, Bob, I'd, I'd love to. Man, the bass on this was intense for a second. <laughs> Hundred bits from the Ultima letting us know about uh, Bob the Builder no being uh, in the F and F and the latest game theory. Wow. Yes, F and F. I don't think anybody's ever called F and F. F and F. F and F. F and F. Oh dear! Look at all this mess. No, if I recall the dub, that they didn't redub this in America. They had the British accents. They, uh, they. Oh, they they Peppa Pigged us. <laughs> we got Peppa Pigged. Where? Well, yeah, they're not turning our kids against us. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Wow, this thing... Okay. Nice one! Nice one! Nice one. Rude cat. Nice one. <laughs> Who's this chain-smoking granny saying nice one? Nice one. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> wow. I didn't know you were a celebrity voice actor. It is that one simple 1500 game. The power shovel, yeah. Yeah, except that was fun, and this is, uh, this barely works. Okay, there is definitely, there's an American dub? No way. I didn't know that. I've only seen the the English version. That's beautiful. What's he saying there, goddamn? Yes. Okay, earlier I, I, I saw that Greg Proops was in the American dub. Is that true, or am I being pranked? Cause I'm okay with being pranked. That's just life. I think you're getting beer. You're being pooped. Okay, yeah, American dub, not English dub. Sorry, I'm. Listen, this this game is making my brain not work. Nice one. Can we fix it? No, it's fucked. Huh. Bob, Bob the Builder. I think this game is outside my age range. This does seem really competent for Blast. It does. It has it has presentation quality. There's actually there's like wall to wall music. It doesn't get bizarrely silent for no reason. Next game. All right. The fuck is this? Yeah, I'd never heard of this license before, but this maybe seems uh, European. maybe someone else has heard of this one. Europeans, when this comes up, you gotta let us know about it. You are legally obligated to tell us about what this license is. Grandma Ventures. <laughs> That's how you know it's a lot. See, yeah, who is... Okay, it's Gary Anderson, I know that. Who so. the heck is Captain Scarlet? It's gonna be one of those British stop-motion shows. With oh, puppets. no, like the Thunderbirds? Yeah, it's gonna be like the Fuck Thunderbirds. Fuck this. Oh, Fuck oh, this. come on. Oh, man. You can't hate that. Why'd you make a PS2 game out of those puppets? Don't hate the puppets, hate the game. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I've never seen a single Thunderbirds. I've never even heard of Captain Scarlet, but maybe this will be the, the piece of media to win me over. After all, it's good enough to be released exclusively in Europe. <laughs> mm, yep. Art drives like shit. I don't think this is bad emulation. I think it's supposed to look like this. Oh, it's from the, uh, it uses the Action Teens engine. Mm -hmm. I like the font. I'm Zed.
Okay, so this isn't the actual theme song. It just sounds, it's just an illegally distinct version. That's so good. They're not Koala big. Koala Base Australia. They're not big on paying for music licenses, these guys. They'll, they pay for like the bare minimum for the license and they're like, no, we're not taking anything else. We will not pay for Axel F. We will not pay for Eddie Murphy. <laughs> we got a driving <laughs> engine and we're going to use it. This is the same game, Alex! Alex, no, this is the same that fucking game! No, different. And look at this background. This is different. I bet you can drive up on the walls in this one, too. Yeah, you can! Man! They just, they really like this, you know, engine. Engines are for cars, Alex. Yeah! And, and you're driving one as Captain Scarlet. For video games, you make a unique engine for every game. Do you use the same engine for every car? No, you don't. You craft a unique one. Perfectly built and distinct. Do you do you think every car engine is like... Yeah, it's like handcrafted. like a baby? Yeah, you get them on Etsy. I keep, can't stop fishtailing. I think that's just the problem with the, the engine. Again! <laughs> it all comes back to the engine. Sneaker Nets, uh, thanks for the bits. A click and play stream is not a bad idea. <laughs> That would be Alex, this, this uh, that sucks. would be a thing for this, Alex to this, do. I don't like this. I don't like this turn. This turn sucks. You expect me to do a hairpin turn in this? I think it barely turn. Hairpins be damned. What if I tried to drift? No. It just kind of clambers. <laughs> Is there like a handbrake or? No, that's the backwards. I'm looking for the handbrake. I don't think there is one. Music oh god, I'm fishtailing. I'm fishtailing. Scenery. Any anything. A game, give us something. A, a text on the screen. Anything. We have time. I mean that's good. Do you think we're gonna be in a, a robot the second mission? God, I hope so. And we chase around criminals. I would, I, as long as you're not driving on the next mission, I'll be happy. Certainly they put in more than a driving engine. Gotta say, this Captain Scarlet not looking so good. A puppet show about a guy just driving a car in a loop and banging into all the walls. Pretty boring. <laughs> Thank you for the additional bit, Sneaker Nets. A ZZT stream is something I have been thinking of, but I would need to... I would need to consult with people. We know some people. Yeah. We know some people. Yeah. We got some guys on it. <laughs> we got some furries on I it. Made it. I made it three quarters of the way through that turn. Yeah. That's what you call a three quarter turn. Yeah, there's no puppets. It's pissing me off. I I, 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 I didn't exhaust it, so I thought the puppets would look ugly, but I want them. I only start drifting after I fuck up the turn. Frappe, thank you for letting me know about Bob the Builder's status as a gay icon in Australia. Apparently, they're on a gay pride float. So, Is he? Yeah, apparently it's it's uh it's in the Discord. Yeah, good for Bob. Hundred bits from the Ultimo asking for a Frog Fractions two stream. Not also not a bad idea. That's a lot of a lot of good ideas. A lot of good games for Alex to play. You, you made it. I'm a console gamer. Well done, Scarlet. We'll be using that footage to train our new pursuit drivers. Oh, oh you were taking footage of that. Well, um, actually, let's retake that. Let's not show our recruit drivers that that footage. <laughs> okay. Okay, Captain Scarlet. Now's the time to win me over. Disable four drums. Can you do that, Danny? Uh, sure. Yeah, this is the Tesla testing loop. I was going to say it drives about as good as a Tesla, probably. <laughs> Sorry if there are any Tesla car fans watching us. Please don't drive near me. I don't want to get hit. Why does the car make that noise when you start it up? This is the same! It's the same no, video game! No, 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 wrong! You can shoot now. It's It was like that in fucking Action Fox. You know, teens, action teens. Hunger Force. Hang on, I have to slowly turn. There we go. Wait, you should have like. Okay, there you go. Who 
Twisted Metal not looking so hot. This is why they dropped the series. They just, they love this engine. <laughs> Who won it? That was me so trying to make... Oh good. That was me trying to make a quick turn. There's like a guy somewhere to the right. But how do I get over there? You drive. Thanks, Alex. I'm sorry. Starting to see a pattern with old Blast Entertainment. Making an engine, making a game, and then literally just reskinning it, as far as I can tell. They're just, you know, they're just like, why waste? Why waste a perfectly good uh, car engine? I don't think this is perfectly good. No, this is how vehicles should drive. Next game, Alex. <laughs> vehicles should drive like shit. Next up, are you kidding me? How many megabytes is this bad boy? A hundred, so that's good. Okay, we got a hundred megabytes in this one. Based on a classic comic franchise we all know and love. Oh. Harvey Comics. Finally, hot stuff the video game. <laughs> I wish. They'll never put hot stuff in a video game. They're, they're cowards. Good news, everyone. Data Design that's Interactive's what, back. That's what Mad Cow Disease looks like. Have I made that joke yet? I don't think so. Okay, that's just what it looks like. It's got the Havoc engine! Yeah, it's it's got that. Who's it gonna be? That's right, it's Richie R No, it's Casper! It's, it's Richie Rich's ghost. Casper and the Ghostly Trio. Wasn't I don't that a, say. uh, was that a direct video or was that a, chat, you know this. You know your Casper direct video. The music's very quiet here. It sounds like his ghostly brothers are playing like, uh, drum and bass music in the next room. It does. Well, do you think this one is also a Super Monkey Ball style game? Uh, Wendy, the good little witch, has been captured. No, oh, no! Gotta yeah, which Wendy. sequel is this based off of? I remember there... Did, was there a Casper with Wendy? I don't know. I guess it was Casper and Wendy. That would have featured Wendy. Here we go. The ghosts are loading. Casper must find a way... They started the over! Man! I thought that was a progress bar at the bottom. No, it's <laughs> they trying just to started trick over. you. There you go. <laughs> all right well here we have a casper the friendly ghost platformer oh he he jumps all right and he punches he throws hadoukens they don't appear to do anything what's that whoa Uh, cool. All right, let's not engage with anything. There's the key. Casper War Crimes. This is a ninja, just ninja bread man. It's literally just a ninja bread man engine. Yeah, they took that engine and they reused it a lot. I wonder if that's a common theme for tonight. Well, I mean, they're doing something with the. En I mean, you don't complain when something is made in the Unity engine. You're not like, oh, another Unity game. Actually, but, I do. Okay, well, well, I don't. Oh, well, la di da. I'm the nice man who never complains. Alex, the tolerant gamer. <laughs> That's right. I just play Fortnite and VR chat, and I'm happy. Neat. I don't. I don't like Casper himself in this. I don't like how he's rendered. I don't like his feet. I don't like his entire body. I don't like that he can't fly. Yeah, he's a ghost. He can fly everywhere. Why does he need to obey our human rules? Is he mocking us? Hundred bits from the Ultimo. Your uh, your most hated engine is Unreal. That's fair. Everyone's <laughs> talking about their least favorite uh, engines. My least favorite engine is, of course, the engine that makes the Tesla drive me over. <laughs> it's a good engine. I'm just so 
afraid that one day my I've I've been I've gone so long without being hit by a car, and I just worried one day I'm just gonna be walking down the street and someone is gonna be playing like the the the. Oh yeah, they got steam in those cars now, yeah, they're so they're just going to be playing. They're going to be playing Hentai Match Three, and <laughs> That's what and the vehicle's going to see and be an auto drive, and it's going to be like auto drive engage, nerd spotted, must kill. <laughs> you like you know, or like maybe maybe the vehicle will 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 know all of my tweets, and it'll be like <laughs> enemy spotted, enemy spotted. I hate this. Don't just, hit me with your car, Jordan. It just sends you into a fucking hedge maze, and keys don't work like that. They don't gradually open a door with the more that you have. Get like, make it, make it pick up ghost orbs or something. Where is the mental fortitude holding this game together? It's nowhere, in my opinion, in this reviewer's opinion. Glad I'm not the only one who's like, what is up with Casper's ass? It's weird. It is a when little he weird. Moves. Yeah, right? Oh, what he's he's got a little pump there. I hate it. <laughs> he's a ghost. Casper the friendly ass ghost. Danny. More like Asper. How do I <laughs> how do I ban timeout? I don't want to go back in the maze and get more keys. This sucks. This game blows. Go in the go and get more keys, Casper. Make me. I hate that you're approaching me. Make me. Shout out to every VTuber, by the way, who's been sent the uh, Danny Assmate clip. <laughs> Apparently it's going around. Ah, stop it, Casper! No, no, no! <laughs> Next game, Alex. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Casper. All right, baby. Oh, no! This is 82 megs. Well, this is uh, a smaller file size than the previous game, but it has the same license you know and love. Brought to you by Entertainment Rights. <laughs> I love that that was the first logo they put up. Thank you, Bing Bing, 25 bits. Uh, well... <laughs> That's you... Casper, the naked baby ghost. Mm -hmm. He is uh, our god now. And now he's back. We sent him to school to a punish school him even further. With real spirit. As I if like, being dead isn't bad enough. I like the decaying girl behind him. I do not want to save. Saving is just a waste of time in these games. Thank you so much, Murphigator, for the raid. We're uh, we're playing Casper Scare School and other Blast Entertainment games. Hey, Murph, what were you up to? Hope you had a good time. Welcome, everybody. We're playing Blast Entertainment games on the PS2. These are all uh, European exclusive games based on popular licenses like Casper. I guess that was popular at some point. I mean, there were a lot of Casper direct-to-video movies. Again, I like the decaying child persona in the background. Yeah. I think I think if I that that I I, I think I could be a decaying child. So do you think this is a brain training game? I think it's going to be another Ninja Dead Man type game. <laughs> Ninja Dead Man! Wow, you just made the sequel. No, I referenced... I. Hey, Golden Face Cowboy, welcome. I confused the Ginger Dead Man and the Ninja Bread Man to yeah. make the Ninja Dead Man. <laughs> That's bad. Welcome, Golden Face. Welcome, everyone. Well, oh. the last Casper game did take a long time to load. Here we go. Leaving for school. His suitcase burst open and all of it is contents were thrown all over the mansion. I hate when that happens. So <laughs> I wasn't expecting the exact same thing to happen as what happened Hello, in last sir. game. Sir, you're back, sir. <laughs> so this is the exact same uh Casper model that we dealt with in the last game, as far as I can tell. He's fine. Is he? Other than being dead? He's going a lot faster, it seems like. Yeah, I don't think I saw the uh, Data Design Interactive logo at the front of this one, so mm -hmm. maybe this has a chance of being... It's not good. It's... Wow. Okay. Oh, what's wrong with him? I'm Friendly Ghost! Look how friendly I am. It's fine. This arrow is not helping things. <laughs> 
I'm just, I've been following the arrow and it keeps just like. <laughs> oh, was this by data design? I, I, I oh, was it? Logo. Damn it. <laughs> Got my hopes up for a second. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to not even look at the logo. I mean, the the arrow. I'm yeah, just going to I'm just going to wander around. Get it. Get get the pot. Get it. He jumps strangely. What? Was that him? I don't remember Casper sounding like this. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Cool. Toilet bonus. <laughs> Wait a second. Hang on. Danny, don't say shit like that. You know, we could play more of this, but uh, I, I think the, the point has been made. The two Casper games, very similar. Very, very bad. Very unnerving. Even for a comic about a dead child, it somehow manages to be even more unnerving. So good job, Blast Entertainment. Let's move on. Really? This is 200 megs. So. Okay, this one I want you to play. I told <laughs> Alex he's going to play all the games about popular pigs. Mm -hmm. Previously, we played a game based on Babe. And now we're going to play a game based on Charlotte's Web. Oh, uses an Oh, is this based on the uh the the live action one that we yeah. played Flash games for? Or is it based mm -hmm. on Okay, cool. Yeah, the 2000 era remake. Based on the popular book, based on the popular spider. All rights reserved. 2007 Paramount Pictures. Walden Media, you love to see it. Oh man, I love when Walden gets into media. Bring back Walden books. Templeton is a gay rat. Definitely. One of the original gay rats. Mm hmm A real pioneer. I think these games have a record for the number of logos before gameplay. That's what, five? Mm-hmm. I hate the Blast logo. It seems like it's insulting me. Like, You're going to see it a lot. to play this game? Oh, oh God. All right, Alex, take it away. All right, let's go. Be the little pig who made it big. Wait, that's babe. Be the little pig who listened to a spider. I think the music is clipping within the emulator. I don't think that's... <laughs> I don't think that's an inaccuracy. Yeah, no Gordy. What the hell? Gordy, Gordy. Gordy. You know, we need, we, uh, y'all need to watch Gordy sometime. You sneaker nuts gifting a sub to Ultraviolet Combat. Welcome to the sub club. Enjoy your emotes. Thank you. Enjoy a, a Retro Pal Sus. One of my faves. Okay. Ah, there he is. When I was just a baby, a little girl saved me and took care of me all the time. But it wasn't long before I got in trouble. One day I was happily sitting in my pram on the farm when all of a sudden it started to move. Alex, you have to protect that baby pig. Correct balance by tapping buttons. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no! Wait, how are you so good at this? Because I play a lot of Flash games. That must be it. Remember when I played all those? Oh, no, he my fell pig over! Died. No, now we're doing this again. Wilbur's dead. No, he's not. He's fine. See? <laughs> so, uh, the controls for this are very strange because you move the pram using the left analog stick, but you also have to tap the buttons to keep it balanced. I think you can also use the right stick somehow. No, 
no, no. Oh, no, bad don't. luck. Bad luck, Wilbur. Okay, Rick, I got this. Yeah, you got this? Yeah. Alex is experienced in Charlotte's Web uh, Flash games. Have you ever read the book? A long time ago. I did too. This is Boss Baby, yeah. This is Boss Baby Origins. No, no! I will not let my ego be injured by a pig! I have not made a complete pig's ear. Knock that off. <laughs> this is some of the weirdest controls in a video game. It's actually interesting. You, like, came to grips with it instantly, though, is the thing. Because when I was testing this out, I just made the, the pram fall over five times in a row. I was like, this is not playable. But uh, I wasn't counting on Flash Game Expert Alex to come in and show me how it's done. Yeah, nowadays we all know Charlotte's Web is the popular uh, weed strain, but way back when it was a children's book. <laughs> yeah, you're going down a 17-mile hill. <laughs> Cartman, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, come on! Oh, Alex, you were right there at the end. Give it another Last try. try, yes. Okay. I got this. Bad luck. Oh, yeah, that Fig Newton's bike game. That was good. <laughs> This is a this is a real experience to play for the first time though, because you don't know how to balance, so the pram just gradually falls over to the side while going at a million miles an hour. Stay calm, stay stay cool, stay collected. That's how you beat the Charlotte Web. No, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, after this attempt, I want to try. Okay. I wonder if anyone's ever beaten this first level. Probably some poor kid who had this as their, like, only game. It's Pig Racer! Pig Racer! Remember that one? It's okay. I'm alive. What's an illegal wizard? I missed some, some chat there. <laughs> oh, an illegal wizard is any wizard that's beneath uh, 69 years old. I okay. understand. Okay, I'm doing good. All right, Wilbur, you're going to make it this time. <laughs> yeah, very strange structure for this movie. <laughs> he has to re live his own death every day. Pig rigs! That's good. I like that. <laughs> uh, Cartman, that depends on which side of the border he's uh, I did it! He's prepared I on. I did it! Every Eat what? Did the bacon. <laughs> well done. I did it. What's the next level? Does I have no know? idea. I have no idea what the next level is. I don't think anyone does. Give, give. Now we eat the pig. Give praise. <laughs> Who wants bacon? I, I. Is that you? So I think that's how I ended up here, all alone in a strange barn. Hey, pig, there's a hole in the fence outside. Okay. Yes! This bye. Oh, man, this rules! Homer! Okay. Uh oh. Hold on. So, are there open world segments? <laughs> I guess. I guess that was just to establish the fact that you were a pig in captivity, and now you're not. Babe is better than Wilbur. Let's make this a fight. Let's oh, make this yeah. an internet slap fight. I think I think Babe could kick Wilbur's ass. Who are these people? Run for your life. Collect apples for extra points. Okay. What has Wilbur ever accomplished in his life? Other than being, oh, this other than pig. being puffed up by a spider, some pig, <laughs> my ass. Run from the farmers. 
Don't you see the farmers? This is really weird. This is surreal and dreamlike. You ever have that dream where you're a pig escaping from the farmers, but you never see them? You just know that they're there? And there they are. Yeah, go to the friendly farmer. Look at all these motes of light. This game's beautiful. Yeah. I am running. I'm running. This game reminds me of another dream I had. <laughs> We've been talking about dreams I've had that have uh, made me laugh so much that I woke up. This is another classic one. Alex, okay. do you remember Hamerica Pig? Hamerica Pig? Yeah. No. I had a dream about a non-existent family film called Hamerica Pig. I don't remember this! He was, uh, the pig America loves. I think that was the tagline. Uh, you got killed. It's okay, I'm still alive. Bye. Anyway, Hamerica Pig, like, uh, I was either reviewing the movie or in charge of producing it or something. There was, like, a big problem on the set. And, like, for whatever reason, this was a mostly complete movie with uh, all the scenes of kids pointing at the uh, off screen being like, Look, it's Hamerica Pig! Come here, Hamerica! Oh, boy, I love Hamerica! Mom! Mom, can we visit Hamerica? And there was all that. It was just like the music you just heard, these light, the light tinkling orchestra music. Very high budget looking, very Disney esque. And then whenever they cut to the pig, it was just like a shot of some guy with a VHS handicam recording some pig at the farm. <laughs> Like, like the movie was supposed to be like some kind of talking animal movie, but we just didn't make those scenes, so we just had some guy go film some pigs. And I was like, this is... <laughs> That's and, so funny! And I was like, this is not gonna work. It just hard cuts to some really horrible looking footage of a pig taking a shit. We can't ship this movie, guys. Anyway, you that's so much more interesting dreams than I do. That's America Pig. I want to see America Pig. The pig that America loves. This is close to being uh, my dream pig property, but it's missing that certain something. Dog. Dog yeah, babe, Wilbur, better watch out. America's coming, and as soon as I film those actual scenes, you're gonna you're gonna regret it. I'm sorry, but a talking animal movie where they don't do the talking animal scenes and instead it's just random animal shitting? Yeah. That would be so good and it was, so funny. The, the print of the movie just hard cut in between those two styles of filming. And it was the, the shots of the pig on the farm that made me laugh so much I woke up. Hey, Templeton. Is that Templeton? Yeah, he's not talking to me, though. Oh. I need to find dandelions for the sheep. Assume this is them. This is weirdly good for a blast entertainment yeah, game. Yeah, this is one of the better. How are you, How are you? <laughs> I hate this too. You don't like this? Wilbur, you're no Hamerica pig. You are no Hamerica pig. Shall I go on? Yeah, next game. Well, there's two different pig games. I don't know if there's more of them, but if there are, we're going to play them. This game's next game is only 76 megs. And there's it also has to do with a movie about famous animals. I was going to say, if there's a pig in it, I will take over, but definitely could not get Eddie Murphy for it. Yeah, Aqua on, Pacific! On the cover of this game, they have Dr. Doolittle's head cropped off the top, and he's wearing gloves. Yeah. <laughs> no identifying information on this Dr. Doolittle. It is based on... Uh, a Dr. Doolittle, not mm -hmm. the popular one in the recent movie. It's Dr. Doolittle, same logo. Uh, you know, it's just starring Betty Durfee. Yeah? Yeah, you know. It's the action news. What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. <laughs> hold the phone. <laughs> Call your friends in to watch this. Who? It's based on the Tony Randall one, but why did it say copyright 2006 to Fox and... Say hello to Dr. Doolittle. He's just arrived well, in town. Well, welcome waiting bird. I don't... I, I... He can talk to animals, did you know? This is dead. They really wanted you to think it was based on the Eddie Murphy game. This guy... What the hell? 
This is Syndicate. Why did they make Syndicate but Dr. Doolittle? You gotta go into the houses. Oh, I see. Yeah, we gotta go visit the animals. Let's go do that. Oh, wait, the, this one's across the street. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you jaywalk? It won't let you jaywalk! The lion's right there. Let me. No, you gotta the... find the entrance! Oh, for fuck's sake. There it oh, is! Shit, I'm Dr. Doolittle. I should be able to just hop I the love edges. the Dr. Doolittle logo, V. You're so prominently over this. This is such a flash game. Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle, trademark. Hey, man. <laughs> Alright, this this one isn't real. This is a game. This, fake. this is the one that someone made up and threw into my ISO folder as a fake. joke. Who did this? Who made this? <laughs> That's all he had to say. Hello. This is a Baldi's basics, yes. That's all he said. We gotta talk to the dog. what's with the 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 the, the flowers? What's with anything? Why is it like this? Yeah, go talk to the dog. It shows you the mundane side of being Dr. Doolittle. It ain't there all fun is. and games. <laughs> I'm a dog! <laughs> I am! That's something Alex would say. Hello, Dr. Doolittle. I'm a dog. Who are you? Well... We've seen our animal friends. Let's head over to the supermarket. Where there's a tiger? <laughs> cool. Hi. Is there an objective here or... What? What? You have so much flower pollen, that's what you've been collecting. You can collect lemon and cocoa. Don't give the cocoa to the animals. You have to mix things in a mixing machine to make remedies. It's got crafting. 100 bits from Cartman telling us about yeah, Comic Sans. You got crafting. It does have crafting. You have to use animal pollen and water and drugs to make drugs. Oh, man. Get the animal stoned. I got to craft my own drugs. This is bullshit. I'm an animal doctor. Just give me the drugs. Oh, you just got a bunch of stuff, it looks like. Did I? Yeah. Oh, ooh, okay. So where are we headed? Um, what about that ho awful hamster-looking guy? Let's go look at that awful hamster-looking okay. guy. See what his problem is. I'm not quite sure what kind of game I was expecting this to be, but it sure as shit ain't this. 100 bits from the Ultimo. Hello, Danny. I'm a fox. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Fox. I'm Dr. Hello, Doolittle. I'm Dr. Doolittle. I'm going to be making you drugs. I almost got ran over. That would have been cool. My name is Flower. I'm a hamster. I'm going to Shit, that's a big ass hamster. You. I know. <laughs> it's the size of a fucking dog. What's my inventory looking like now? All right, we got a bunch of water and flavoring. We should get some milk. I guess we got to go to the chemist, right? To get yeah. the rest of this shit? To get the milk. Don't run over Dr. Doolittle. I'm important. $50 fine for running over Dr. Doolittle. See? Thank you. I think people keep disrespecting him. And they shouldn't. Let's go see this guy. You got the milk? Oh, you gotta go all around town getting all this Get shit? groceries. My name's Bob. I'm a horse. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was alright. Okay, thank you. I'll accept it. Thank you. See, all of these cars are in shapes that I wouldn't mind being hit by. If any of these cars <laughs> hit me, you know, I would be okay. I'm sorry, I talked You'd about You'd bounce it right off. I, I just, I, I talked about it earlier, but chat, I am so afraid of being hit by a cyber truck. Like, it's gonna happen. It's going to happen. I don't know what, it's like, I... The fact that it, the fact that I haven't, that it hasn't happened yet. Okay, we're loaded up. The only thing you don't have is uh, honey. Well, good thing I'm not treating bees. 
I mean, you might be. Be. Might be. Eh. Do you talk to the gir okay? You need to talk to the giraffe and then the cat and the elephant. Oh, we gotta introduce ourselves like it's yes. a fucking JRPG. I was gonna say, yeah, it's like uh, it's like Persona. It's ridiculous how long these games take to get going. Would I let a regular truck hit me? Only if it's one of those trucks that, like, Akira Toriyama drives, or draws, I should say, where it's all rounded. I'll let one of those trucks. A Dragon Ball car could hit me any time. I'm trying to get him to run. I don't think he runs. It's Marty, the giraffe. I'm just wandering around, like giraffes do. See, you're right that I think that the car would swerve for me because I'm a Twitch partner, and that's probably loaded into the memory of the vehicle. Oh, yeah. But I also think that they may have seen my tweets or that I made about them, and, you know, that could also calculate into it. They could mm -hmm. see my DMs that I, I made, you know. Everyone has a, a drivability score mm -hmm. that they've been assigned based on their tweets and their internet content. A hitability score. Yeah. All right, here's here's what we're going to do. We're going to check out this cat, and we're going to go across town and check out the elephant. Then the gameplay is going to begin. Certainly something's going to happen. Cat, where are you? Oh, they're across the street. They're so far. Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. Why don't I get a car? Yeah, well, because you're you're uh, environmentally friendly. No one else in this town is. No, they certainly aren't. This town's full of twelve car families. <laughs> Drives the store. You got to bring your three Jeep Grand Cherokees. They still make those. Yeah, they do. They do. Oh, did you hear that bit of diegetic noise? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Let's let's take a shortcut through the. We picked up some pollen. Naturally harvested. This is exciting. Uh, no, no, that, that, the game's logo is legit on the screen. That is not something I did know. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not real. a watermark. It's just there no, all the time. Real. I guess it is a watermark. <laughs> so close. We're going to get that elephant. It does look like a mobile game from 2012. Yeah, it looks like Town Builder, Animal Farm. Heyday. <laughs> I'm going to look and still see if uh, Heyday's still up. Hi, Harvey the Elephant. You've met all the animals. Okay, according to Code Man, this is a reskin of a PC pharmacy sim made by the same developers called Chemist Tycoon. That was a cold open? That entire sequence? Oh, That's okay. kind of sick. I'm sorry. I think <laughs> I like this. Sick. <laughs> you gotta get some drugs, Danny. Oh, cool. They marked them all on the map for me. So I picked up all those drugs for nothing, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, they got soccer. They got tennis. Looks Dr. like a lot Doolittle. of cool things you can cool things you can do in this town if you're not Doctor Doolittle. Uh, thanks for showing up, Bing Bing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dr. Doolittle's a blombie-shaped man. So from this point on, you just wander around collecting things and healing the, the sick animals. Talk to the horse. Where's the horse? Uh, to the left. Wait, where'd the horse go? You're imagining horses now! Oh my god, I'm seeing horses. You're getting Doolittle-pilled. <laughs> Alright, we're out. We're going to the next game. <laughs> Cool game, Dr. Doolittle. Cool is, game. Is this going to work? No, but do it anyway. Okay. So, so you remember Bob the Builder? Bob the Builder has an iToy game. Remember the iToy? Yes. So uh, Blast Entertainment only ever made one iToy game. This is a, a camera peripheral that you use with the PS2 to play really shitty games with. <laughs> he's been crucified! And that's, that's why I wanted you to boot this up, because he's doing crucifixion posts. What the fuck, Bob Danny, the Builder? Chat, make that Danny, that's our next emote. <laughs> Crucify Bob the Builder. Yes. <laughs> Should have bought an eye toy. We wouldn't have to crucify Bob the Builder. 
Bob, Bob died, died for our sins. Bob died. Sorry, Bob. It had to happen, though, in order to uh, cleanse mankind. I mean, you're right. Both Jesus was also a carpenter. <laughs> thank you, Simon. Next. Oh, thank you, Super Great Friend. For the raid, we are... Uh... Great time to come in. We're... Uh... Uh, look at uh, Bob the Builder just got crucified. We're playing uh, Blast Entertainment games for the PS2. These are all PAL-exclusive, Europe-exclusive games from an extremely low-rent publisher. So this is this is great novel. Let's move on to our next game. <laughs> now that we've crucified Bob the Builder. Thank you, Simon, for the, Simon and Carmen, for the 100 bits each. <laughs> we, oh, this next one's going to be good. Oh, no. This is, well, it's 100 megs, this next one. Mm -hmm. So that's something. So we're playing a game with these. Let's see how quickly people can guess the license these games are based on. Bob the Unbuilder. He died for us. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. There's that logo. I'm hating it the more I see it. Oh, that's a bad logo. Wow, that's a bad logo. Wow. Oh, it's the no. Flintstones. Blab got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boink. A lot of Flintstones games out there. This one is PAL exclusive. Let's see if it's gonna have to do so much post editing. Yeah, I know. Spot. There's so much DMCA content in this. Look at this. Chat, what song should I replace all of the audio with in this uh VOD? Oh my god, we got Fred. Fred. Yeah, his friend Barney. Mm -hmm. We got Wilma, you can play as Wilma. Betty. Pebbles. Uh -uh. No, Pebbles is off limits. So is Bam Bam. Dino! Dino can't drive! The Creek Kazoo! Get out of here! We're gonna be Barney. This is a Barney household. By which I mean, uh, we go around stealing Fruity Pebbles all day. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like shit! How does it drive? Do you fishtail? How much do you fishtail? Well, this is better than Action Man. You, so can, actually, you can actually steer. Is it a different, like, uh, engine? Uh, actually, he's using his feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Watch me scare Fred out of his pool. <laughs> I think of that a lot. Sorry. I do too. Yeah, do you like the icons? We got meat, we got eggs, we got bone. What else do you need in your life? I don't know. For a Blast Entertainment game, this is looking pretty good. Some of y'all just coming in now may not have perspective on this, but... Prior to this, we played two games based on pig movies, mm -hmm. that being Babe and uh, Charlotte's Web. Which one did you prefer, Alex? I actually think I prefer Charlotte's Web. Babe was, uh, I don't know what was going on in Babe, but I didn't play as much Babe as I did Charlotte's Web, so, you know. Yeah, Charlotte's Web was kind of a, a multi-genre thing. You start the game as a pig in a baby carriage going downhill at 300 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. You have to not die, which is very hard to do. Do I have weapons? Where's the machine guns on this thing? They finally... They made another racing game, and this is the one that doesn't have machine guns in it. I mean... Do you really think Barney would shoot someone? Oh, yeah. If Fruity Pebbles were involved. I mean, that is also a fair point. It does... I, I, I do believe that the foot-related uh, engine is less efficient than walking. Oh, it's got the it's got the wheelie mechanics from their other driving game, so I think this is based partially on the same engine. Maybe they like put in the code to make the engine less shit. That's what it is. They had they added they one had, line of code. It was a single switch. It was like it said game equal bad and they had to replace bad with good, easy peasy. But hey! <laughs> I think that's also a toggle in the Unity engine. Yeah, shit equals zero, exactly, Revenant. Yeah, what do you think of that? I'll dip you over on your side. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Barney! Barney! Barney, you really ate it there. I think... I want to say that coconut-style guns exist in the Flintstones universe. They fire in spurts. Thank you. Chat, 
uh, the cartoon experts in chat, do guns exist? Because I want, I think that if I watched a man called Flintstone, this would answer my question. I think so, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure there's gun-related things in that one. You guns exist, do, yes. You gotta okay, do your research. Okay. okay. Well, okay. there's there's two more laps of this, and I'm already tired of it. I really I really want to beat the Great Gazoo, but there we go. They're slingshot. Bam. Guns. Okay, slingshot gun. I saved the series. You're Thank welcome. You. Okay. Let's so. move on to our next game. <laughs> that was really good for Blast Entertainment. Let's no, see something more representative no, of them. Not. Oh, this it's guy. 471 megs. We know this guy. <clears throat> this is a pretty popular license. Hey! Echo Entertainment, that's appropriate. I like cats. No. Uh, no. Hello, Danny! Aren't you excited that's to not see a, me? That's not a jester. Oh, come on. That was a little freak. That's a little freak, not a jester. Okay, fair enough. That's right. It's everyone's favorite fat cat oh god look at him twirl it's garfield it's so funny that garfield is i'm excited for the backlash to happen against the counterculture garfield stuff so garfield will no longer it'll be like mainstream again there was a new wave of garfield popularity because the latest uh avgn episode is about garfield games really he finally covered a week of garfield after i begged for him to cover it for years and years uh, yeah, we've actually played this on stream before. I remember this. Mm -hmm. You know, I really like you, and that's an understatement. But you'll have to leave for reasons of state. Okay, well, it's really for reasons of stomach, but... Uh, but, but, but what? Uh, my, my cake. <laughs> that's my favorite Garfield Freshly, catchphrase. Whoa, hey! The most severe punishment. Garf. What? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? A when big treasure hunt with a lifetime when did Garfield get claws? As a reward, He's had claws for a while. Hello, he usually only claws up couches, home? though, not his best friend okay, Odie. Forget it and follow me. <laughs> oh, I remember this now. Yeah, I remember him. I remember him. Mm. I remember him in particular. I love that spinning Garfield. <laughs> he sometimes threatens the mouse. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's true. And he hits a spider with a newspaper. He's mm -hmm. pretty violent. Okay, let's go. We're on our way to the treasure hunt store. The we'll treasure hunt store? The treasure hunt clue. store. Look at this run cycle. This is pretty goofy. I, I will say, this is about a thousand times better looking than um, the Casper games we played. This is so much better than Casper already. Uh. I'm Garfield. Eat it. Bonk. Yeah, it's an actual game. Garfield, let me in. Yeah, it's an actual 3D platformer. He can't really jump I all that well. I say that, but my highly developed musculature means I can jump and cling on like a wildcat. But, uh, okay. Okay, so I don't jump very high or very far, but that's normal. I'd hurt myself if I fell from a great height. I'm not very well suited for this at all. I'm not very good at things. How do you? He says he he mentioned he can like stick to things. How? Oh. Aha! Deep we did down, it. I'm a delicate and sensitive little creature. Only kidding. This child. But what? Huh? Did he just trail off there? <laughs> um, it's fine. <laughs> Sounded like he was about to say something insulting and then thought better of it. Some obstacles can bother me. In which case In which case I have a Oh I see, it starts playing the next line of dialogue. I just look elsewhere. It makes it sound like he's muttering to himself like Popeye. Yep, I can do that. Welcome, Wire Mother. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's up with Garfield's voice here. It, I, I, I want to say it's like the one, um, the 
3D animated show from this time period. Do you remember that horrible one? Mm hmm Yeah, I, I want to say it's from that, but I could be wrong. This Garfield just sounds kind of bored. I'm Garfield. You can play my game if you want. Unfortunately, this is not the Garfield PS2 game where he asks uh, what'll happen if he sucks this. Oh, Jordan. Oh, no. Danny. What? Jordan's five-year-old nephew loves Popeye. Popeye's good. But you know what happened? What? You know what he got for Christmas? The Popeye Switch game. Oh, no! That's so sad. That's so sad. Oh, what a game that is. Oh, hey. Hey. Nothing or nobody will get in the way of my lasagna hunt. And certainly not a mangy mutt. Don't wake up the ferocious beast lying dormant in me. I keep hoping he'll mutter more things under his breath. Okay, punch with your paws. I'm destroying the whole yard. Holy shit, he killed that dog. Get the fuck out! Get out! <laughs> Garfield's rampage. Hey, I found a costume, but it isn't carnival time. At last, a gun. All right, we've got our first gun. No, that's not true. There's a gun in Beverly. There's a lot of gun in Beverly Hills Cop. Finally, Garfield has his iconic hat. Oh shit! <laughs> it's an FPS. This way. I gotta say, this is an actual game. This is looking very robust for a Blast Entertainment game. This key is much too high for me. I think it's a perfect mission for Calamity Jane. Yeah, shoot it. Calamity Jane to the rescue? I guess that's you. Got it. I can't get over how much of a game this is. Yeah, it's got the split screen going on. Obviously inspired by the hit series 24. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very uh, good looking Garfield game. I arrest you Surprised. For the import of Blast Entertainment of all people was the one the studio to give us a good Garfield game. Or at least one that's not total dog shit. Eh. This is a side of Garfield I'd never seen before. A that dog is mangled. <laughs> sheer brutality on display. The fact that he just pulls out a gun and shoots people. Very brave direction for this new Garfield. Oh no, my cowboy costume. I'm ruined. You have to kill them now. Kill them with your feet. We don't need to see that. Let's play the next game. Alright. That's too good for Blast Entertainment. What about... Uh... Nope. What if we played this next one? Another game based on a very popular property. I I don't like this one. Yeah, why not? I No, 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 no. Oh, no. that logo. Oh, that Kevin. No. No. There's Kevin McAllister. We couldn't they were like, well, we can't get Macaulay Culkin's likeness. Can we get... This looks like an advertisement in the teen abstinence, like, pamphlet. <laughs> he looks like a teen abstinence guy. Don't get pregnant. You'll have a baby that looks like this. Look at... See? Oh, Look man. Look at this art. Oh, man. Yep, that's this Home Alone. totally the manga Bible or something. And we have Minmo. It's Who's perfect. Who's the little girl? Uh, uh, Blevin. Arcade? Yeah. Kevin? There's Kevin. There's Carly. Carly. Carl? Ca Carl. And Kelly. Uh, do you remember any of these? Kelly? Yeah, from the sequel, Home Aloneer. Yeah, this is real 2003 webcomic. <clears throat> Just hanging out in the rose bushes. So this is a game about picking up and putting down traps for the burglars to fall in? 
but it's all presented very strangely. Oops. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't worry about it. That didn't move. It didn't it didn't have any collision. Alright, check this out. Okay. <laughs> Got him! Nice! <laughs> Kelly wins again. Eat shit. Eat shit. Oh yeah! An iron pickup. I wonder if I can hit the X button to throw this at a dude. Oh, I can't actually. Fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He's on to me. Sorry, honey. So the premise of this game is to stop the burglars from getting in by locking all the doors around the perimeter. And also you gotta throw shit at the burglars if they get close. Yes, do you see the problem with this? It's incredibly boring. <laughs> It looks like kind of shit. It's like stealth and action, only you don't uh, really do stealth and action. You just have to lock doors. Oh, we need to collect more toolkits. There's another. Not gonna make it! Oh shit, you don't have any flour either. God. He's dead. <laughs> so of all the times to make a Home Alone game, of all the places to release a Home Alone game, it's on PS2, exclusively in Europe, in 2006. American fans of Home Alone, sorry. You have to sit this one out. I just, I, I can't believe this would have been more popular in Europe than in America. But maybe, maybe, maybe like, they were like, this is too shitty to release in America. Could be, or... I don't know, maybe Home Alone had some kind of renaissance in the early 2000s in Europe that we didn't know about. That's true. Uh, Europeans, maybe there was a stage production. Do you do you remember a stage production of, uh, or something like that, of uh, Home Alone? Yeah, Home Alone, Turn Off the Dark. Like, you know, kind of like maybe Starlight Express. Ooh, I'm out of, I'm out of irons. How about a bowling ball? ball? Whoops! <laughs> captured! Oh, you're so happy to be captured. Yeah, let's continue. Yeah, Home Alone, the Cursed Child, exactly. A ho okay, imagine how sick a Home Alone, like, live-action play would be. Like, having to set up, do all that, like, prop work and stunts and shit. God, that would... Because it's, it's... All you would need would be the set for the house, right? What if they did, like, the Waterworld stage show? And oh, they, my God. Only it's with Home Alone. <laughs> That would be pretty cool. They're just like, running around the stage getting blowtorched and stuff. Mm -hmm. God, I gotta get more freaking toolkits. Uh, we actually did just play the American Tale uh, video game in the beginning. We of did. The it was so yeah. bad. Why was it Super Monkey Ball? Why'd they do that? Cirque du Soleil should do a Home Alone uh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, this is a rare opportunity to get to enjoy this. Usually you'd have to import this game. Mm hmm. Play it on a PS2 in PAL mode, which is a big pain in the ass. In some ways, we're lucky. In some ways, we're blessed. In some ways, this game is making our lives better. Yeah. Do you feel it too, the people at home? Do you feel your life improving as you watch this? I mean, my life's improving. Yeah, me too. Hey, fucko! Whoops. <laughs> there we go. That was a double KO. Run, run, run. Haha, <laughs> you fell from my glue trap. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can finish off the final locks here. Oh, there's four more? Fucking... Alright. Got it. We did this one. We, uh-oh. 
I got cornered by two different Harrys. Yeah, what the hell? Multiple Harrys. Where's the multiple Marvs? That's the one we all care about. Where is Marv? But you were in the glue! <laughs> As limited continues. That's it. We got captured. Kevin and his family are dead. That's the end of Home Alone. Congratulations, you're dead. <laughs> What's all these fake letters? It's for Europe, honey. Those are all the letters they use in Europe. <laughs> all right, that's my name. In Europe, they go, ow! That's just Tim Allen. Ow! Home Alone for PS2. I have nothing more to say about that. Maybe someday I'll do a speedrun. Or maybe someone else can do that. All right, Alex, what's next? Next up is a game that's only 65 megs. Home Alone was only 62 megs, so, you know. Oh, this is three megabytes better. Ooh. This has a... English. <laughs> wow, good way to start. This has a popular name I recognize. It's puzzle Jetix. Puzzle. It's Jetix Puzzle Puzzle. Y'all remember the Puzzle Puzzle? It's a real puzzle of puzzles. Puzzle Puzzle. It's the Jetix Puzzle Puzzle. It's the Jetix Puzzle Puzzle. English. Puzzle Puzzle. Does this one work? What if this one didn't work? That would be so good. I want to know what Puzzle Puzzle is, though. Puzzle... Puzzle? Puzzle Buzzle. Pu we want to puzzle the puzzle. This is a real pu puzzle bubble. <laughs> puzzle. I'm already losing my mind. We can't puzzle it anymore. Okay, the the loading icon is slowly dragging itself off the screen. Oh, that was loading. I thought the game didn't work. I thought the game just didn't work. Let's do puzzle puzzle mode. I guess we're doing the puzzle puzzle. Let's do beginner puzzle puzzle. Which player should we be? Which? Okay, that's okay. the play. <laughs> that's who we are. I wonder if this one's not emulated right. It's Twinkle Star Sprites? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, jeez. Oh, Alex. Oh, you don't like this? Oh, Alex. You don't like the puzzle puzzle? I don't know. I don't know if I like the puzzle puzzle. Honey, puzzle puzzle. It appears we're trying to escape uh, the encroaching goop. Mm hmm. That's typical in video games. Usually you don't want goop. Usually games are very anti goop. I like that you can jump up before placing the mm -hmm. pieces. Oh, shit. Oh, the lines don't disappear when you fill them. I guess this is just a survival based puzzler. I guess so. Don't get gooped. What? Yeah, you have to build all the way to the top, I guess. That's stupid, though. <laughs> it's Puzzle Buzzle! <laughs> Alright. It's like in Tetris, you just stack up all the pieces in one big vertical stack. Oh, you win. I gotta say, of all the games to star the Jetix logo, this is probably the best one. Yeah, wouldn't you just, yeah, what if you just did that? Wouldn't that just make you win? This just seems like an easy game to, tr yeah. No, oh, no, my puzzle puzzle. What'd what? you puzzle my puzzle for? Do you have to, like, build puzzle infrastructure? I guess. Man, you gotta have a, a puzzle foundation. Ah, build your puzzle home. Yeah, you can't just stack up willy-nilly. You have to make some kind of base. Ball. I don't know if I like that better or worse than what I thought the game was. As for what it is, um, I don't think anyone wants to play this. Did anyone want a game starring the Jetix logo? Anybody wanted Puzzle Puzzle? Is that how much you enjoyed the Jetix brand? Maybe it's a British thing. Maybe it's a European thing. Europe, did you like the Puzzle Puzzle back in the day? Yeah, maybe they did. 
Who can say? Gotta know when to puzzle. Maybe know it was... Know when to buzzle. Maybe it was uh, a phenomenon, the likes of which had not been seen since Beatlemania. Okay, this seems like a good puzzle. Okay. Every day I'm buzzling. You're doing better than the other guy, I think. No, my puzzle! You got puzzled. Alex, my puzzle puzzle! I was gonna say, you're getting puzzled all over the place! This is puzzle puzzle bullshit. <laughs> enough of this. I'm done with this puzzle puzzle. I've been puzzled enough today. Man. One of the one of the lesser blast entertainment games. Why to be is sure. this game so big? How big is it? Four hundred and thirty nine mags. Ooh, that's pretty big. Cookies buzzle. <laughs> if we didn't mention before, uh, all these games are very small. All of them are big enough to only fit on a CD as opposed to a DVD. This being a uh, cost cutting measure. This is the hunk of mega something. Uh, datorama. The Hucka Mega Mighty Ultra Extreme Datorama. Uh huh. You know this one. Wait a minute, it's these guys. I know these guys. You know the Ben Ten. Ben Tennyson was in there. Yeah, you know Ben Ten. This isn't Ben Ten, sorry folks. <laughs> it's the Shiro Super Galdelic Hour. Maybe it is. Yep, this is a Johnny Bravo game. They released it for PS2 exclusively in Europe. I think there was also a DS version that got uh, worldwide release, but if you wanted to play this on PS2, you had to be European. Ah. Nick Schweitzer. All right, Alex, are we Nick Schweitzer? Marty Biggins. Marty the Party Biggins. Big Flava. Uh, we just get those three. I want to be Marty the Party. Marty All right, Marty the Party. And who is our babe? The reigning Miss Artichoke versus Miss International Car Show. The reigning I like Miss International Car Show. International All right, we're going for it. Yeah, this is back upon. Cartoon Network dating sim. That does seem to be what this is. That scares me a little bit. Was Johnny Bravo still on the air at this point? This would have been 2007, 2008. Would have been on the air in reruns, I guess. Yeah. Oh, they look great! They're about to announce the final contestant for the Huck of Mega Money Ultra Extreme Date Orama. And the next and final contestant for the Huck of Mega Mighty Ultra Extreme Date Orama is. <sighs> Who named this show anyway? Say the name already! Oh, sorry. Johnny Bravo! <laughs> it's my name! It's my name! Oh yeah! It's me, Johnny B. <laughs> Listen up, Johnny. Do you have any family? My mama. What about friends? If my friend, you mean someone who won't leave me alone no matter how much I tell them to go away? Then sure, I got two of those. Then by gum, bring them out to the studio jiffy quick so we can play... The Haka Mega Mighty Ultra Extreme Data Rama. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's that do was it. Fast. <laughs> Monorail, the only way to travel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, a Johnny Bravo game. I've been waiting. This is, what you've been, this is what everyone was waiting for. Miles of muscle and overflowing with enough eye candy to tempt anyone's tummy. <laughs> Save it. Yeah, he's a sex pest muscle man. He talks like Elvis. The kids love him. Yeah, kids love him. <laughs> Show got many seasons. It was pretty popular. It was really popular. That guy looked like a Lego Star Wars. Let's welcome the beautiful reigning Miss International Car Show. Chat fading. Whether or not uh, Johnny Bravo scored with a deer. Oh. In an episode, I, I haven't seen it, so I, I wouldn't know. We'll have to check the tapes. Now that we're all anteed up, let's play the Haka Mega Mighty Ultra Extreme Data Rama. This game has one joke, and it tells it every five it's seconds. Car show. Step right up and press the button to Do you think it's going to be a bunch of shitty mini games? Oh, almost definitely. Oh. 
Let's go. We're doing this one. Flowers. Let's play flower power. You guys are in trouble now. He is kind of a prototypical himbo, isn't he? I... I guess... Sorry, I've I've not thought about Johnny Bravo that deeply before, and I frankly don't want to. I haven't either. It's bringing back all kinds of memories. Good, bad. Like, is Johnny Bravo good? Is Johnny it's Bravo bad? I don't know. I don't want to make any Johnny conclusions. Is Johnny Bravo like leftist? <laughs> is Johnny Bravo my friend? <laughs> Pick only the flowers the chick likes. Winner is the stud with the biggest difference between good and bad flowers. Beware of the bees and the bumps from your rival. Is Johnny Bravo cringe, or is he based? You know how you're not very good at this? Try getting some instructions from the pause menu. Oh, alright. The game gave up on giving me instructions. We gotta get the good flowers and not the bad ones. ...and are filled with lots of leaves and petals. Also the expensive ones. Okay. So, red daisies... I don't like flowers that are too colorful and happy. It's like they're on drugs. Drugs are bad. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty funny. <laughs> it's a little bit edgier than the source material. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, we gotta get the flowers here. We gotta go around picking them up. It's like watching monkeys and rhinos play. <sighs> so this is the Johnny Bravo game, huh? <laughs> you got stung. All that build up for this. It's good! What's wrong? I think it, it, it you know. Word up, word up. Only 30 seconds. Shoot! Would Europe have the cultural knowledge necessary to enjoy Johnny Bravo? Was Elvis big over there? Yes. No, no, they they would get. I think UK, you would get um, you would you would get a, a, a Johnny Bravo type. I, I can imagine like a horny guy who imitates Elvis would be very popular in uh, Ten more Europe. Uh, yes, uh, Blab, this is one of those uh, Duke Nukem games. If this game got leaked. I'd tell him to put it back. But like, preservation is done. Let's not preserve anything anymore. We don't, we don't need to preserve everything. I mean, there are a lot of video games. Don't we always... Don't we have all the good ones already? No more games. You don't, you don't need to show us anymore. Don't show me Mother 3 for the N64. It's fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I kind of don't like video games anymore. Yeah, we're done. I want to see the next mini game, and then I want to play the next game. Okay. And then I think it's looking like we want to continue this on Friday. Yeah, it's a double size stream. FYI, I don't rodeo dojo with just anyone, so don't judge me. All these games, I want to dive into them just a little bit, just to figure out how shit they are. Gets to the point where I say, wow, that sure is shit. I reached that point with this game, but I want to see the next mini game. Yeah, we are woodworking working stream now. Mm-hmm. I'm more about uh, crochet and croquet. This is the Retro Pals croquet and crochet stream. Miss International Car Show, step right up and press the button to watch as the Wheel of Love tells us <laughs> what's to come. I would love a croquet and crochet stream. Right? How would they do it? We'll figure it out. Let's play Muscle Madness! I tell you what I saw was good on Twitch the other day. Chubo streamed the entirety of Bulgarian Treasure Planet. That's so good. That, that was an amazing piece of film. This, this is not even close to that. Oh, Muscle March is so fun. That game has such energy and gameplay and fun. Enjoy. Enjoy. Beat your opponent by lifting more total weight. Well, what you got you it. Know? It's time. No, you it's... Know how you're not... I want to skip this guy. He's not funny. Men from the cockroaches. Uh, give me this one. Start small, think big. Wow. 
We're doing it. Belts. Oh, mama. Nope. Nope. Watch You're leaving it. the circle. Oh, mama. Nice, nice. Yeah, that deserves an Amazon cry. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> You don't, you don't like Fuck this? this? <laughs> Why does this exist? Why did even Europe get this? I can do this. <laughs> yeah, Danny's playing as Johnny Bravo. Just gotta mash the trigger buttons. Clean as a whistle. Then stumble around. Watch it. We're out. We fell out of the ring. Fail. <laughs> that Danny was a real fails. fail boat. That was a fail oh, boat. Wow, I underestimated you. All right, we're dialing things up to maximum for the last one. Oh, God. Well, time for our Johnny Bravo to, to die. Johnny Pro Bravo everything. dies live on stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm mashing these trigger buttons on this oh, Xbox no. Series One control. It hurts. <laughs> these these trigger buttons not meant to be mashed. They're really? meant to hold them down and shoot a machine gun in Call of no Duty. Comment. I fucked up. Johnny died. His arms fell off. Johnny is dead. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> he's done. He's dead. He's not. He's not responding. We got beat. Marty loves the party. We got beat at the Muscle Man oh, competition. Uh, build on that. Johnny's crying. Johnny's crying. Rip Johnny. What does he have to say after this? No, I died, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Big old fail, but Mama. Oh. <laughs> This is the end of John Bravo. We're back and front and back and front and back and front. No, nope, no, nope. next game. Next okay. game. We're closing things off tonight with one final video game based on a movie we all know and love. I'm just going to tell you what this one is. This is Jumanji. I'm I'm actually surprised they made a Jumanji game so late after it was uh, in the theaters, but the, what do I know? I'm not Sony Pictures consumer products. The movie was Danny, what, late 90s? Danny, are you a consumer? Do you like products? Because do I have a brand for you? I love products. I love consuming products. Oh, this looks fine. <laughs> it's probably fine. It's okay. Jumanji! Are you ready for this shit? Have you seen this before? I have seen this shit. Okay. Who should I be? Be the eight. Which one is that? This one? That one, yeah. Okay. You play this with other people, Sass? Oh no. This is a hell of a game. And it's a collection of mini games, just like our favorite, Johnny Bravo. I was gonna say, this looks like Mario Party. Well, it's a board game though, so it makes sense in this case. No, it was, you're right, that does make sense. Those buzzing bugs are bigger than your head. Beware, they don't sting you right in your bed. What? I'm I'm on the left. So what do you think? I think Alex is overwhelmed. I'm sorry, I'm just... So it's a mini game collection for up to four players. Up to four people can enjoy Jumanji for PS2. This is kind of like Warlords. I was going to say this reminds me of Warlords. But I didn't know if that was cringe, so I didn't say it. <laughs> You're doing it. You're doing it. We got 42 more seconds of this. Oh my god, you do have 42 more seconds. Well, you're not number one anymore. Sorry, honey. And Green takes the lead. 
will green beat out red. Maybe this is just a bad example of a minigame in this. Maybe the other ones are really good. Okay, let's try another one. We better play this for another hour to just be sure. Is this how you reward me for making you dinner? <laughs> It was a really good dinner. You it deserve was. a good game for it. I made I made uh, black eyed peas and it's I made it yesterday and we had some today and it's really good. I know before Jordan asked, yes, I will make you black eyed peas. I want to make this again. Yeah, it was tasty. Yeah, I want to make that for everybody. Sorry if you know me in town, I'll probably be making you black eyed peas. Also cookies. I need to make more cookies. You need to play more Jumanji. Jumanji. It's my turn. It's not often you can move with impunity, but just this once you can move forward for free. That was supposed to be a rhyme. This is like if all the fantastical things in the movie Jumanji didn't happen. <laughs> like if it was just a regular boring board game. Like angels of death, they swoop on the weak. Strike them now in their tail or beak. I got it. Oh, what? No, this is stupid, though. <laughs> For a second, I was like, how do you work this? And then I figured out how, and I was like, no, this is, this is stupid. Why'd you do it this way? Oh, this is stupid. So at this point, we have seen around half of the Blast Entertainment Library. If you want to see more, tune in Friday at 8 p.m. Central. We're going to cover the rest of it. By the end of the week, we will have seen every single Blast Entertainment game released for the PS2. That's my promise to you. It'll happen. We'll find a good game that's even better than Babe. It's even better than Charlotte's Web, if you can believe it. I don't know if we're gonna find a game better than this one, though. This is pretty, um... You're murdering so many birds! Yeah, Birdemic! I like how that one bird scream sample is just yeah, being... Yeah, yeah, it's the red-tailed... Yeah, exactly, Lagaloid. Be... Red-tailed hawk dot way. It's, it's being of... overlaid on top of each other a million times. A thousand red hawk cries. Screaming in unison. It's beautiful. Oh, you don't have any more coconuts left. Sorry, honey. Huh. I did really badly in that one. Oh, that, that sucked. Well, if you ever wanted an adaptation of Jumanji the board game that has nothing to do with Jumanji the movie, uh, this is it. I think they actually make physical Jumanji boards now. They do, yeah, for nerds. Yeah, for nerds. Yeah. The king of the jungle prowls and he roars. You don't want to feel the sharp end of his claws. That doesn't rhyme! That doesn't rhyme at that all! That doesn't even come close Wars to rhyming! Claws. Danny, what the fuck? Is this a Neopets game? You're all about those Flash games. You should be familiar with this. This looks totally Flash game! <laughs> so based on what we saw tonight on Friday, we should see more minigame compilations. We should see more... Uh, Games based on popular movies that were popular 10 or more years before the game was made. Probably more racing games. Probably more racing games that use the exact same engine. Maybe more platformers from Data Design Interactive. We got a lot to look forward to. Mask your scent. Cool, I covered myself in deer urine. Ugh. What are we eating? Fruits. Oh yeah, these are fruits. I can yeah. barely tell. They're grapes and pears. And... I like the animation of me being trampled. Yeah, you just like you flatten vaguely. <laughs> Ow, I got mauled. What a wild world this is. I say as an American, being unfamiliar with the uh, companies like Phoenix Games and Blast Entertainment, I feel more uh, culturally fulfilled looking at these games. Do you feel more educated about the world? Yeah, it's like a different angle on pop culture. You know, sometimes uh, games based on popular movies spell favorite with a U. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Really makes you think. <laughs> yeah, it was back. <laughs> I'm ready to not think about Jumanji done? anymore. We're done. <laughs>
It's Friday. I'm ready to get weird. These games are weird. We're going to play uh, the rest of them. In case you uh, didn't see us on Wednesday, we played the first half of the catalog of Blast Entertainment, a uh, UK exclusive publisher for the PlayStation 2. And oh my god, these games. These games are so, so low budget, it blows your mind. It blew my mind. My mind is so blown that I, I need to catch up. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Thank you, the Ultima, real quick, for the 100 bits and the cookie blessings. Thank you for that. Cookies blessings to you. Thank you. And thank you, Uzi, 62-month resub. It's the PS2 Bandits. It is. And thank you so much. It's a lot of months. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Wow, they, they got the uh, thank you in stereo that time. I know. We, we rarely do that. <laughs> We're really in sync tonight. Mm -hmm. So uh, I decided to upgrade our second half uh, experience with the Blast Entertainment Library. I decided to add a couple of games I was going to omit. Uh, I did this because I think they're funny, okay. and uh, hopefully you agree. So we're gonna we're gonna start with a game that we actually skipped last time around. This is AMF Extreme Bowling 2006. We skipped it because this is the rare Blast Entertainment game that actually got a U.S. release. So if you want, you can head down to GameStop, pick up a copy uh, for yourself. GameStop still exists, and they sell PS2 games, right? Um, I think they still exist, but I think they may be like a, a Funko factory at this point. Yeah, that's true. So, but if they had a Funko of the PS2, then you'd be fun. Can I see the whole screen? Oh, is it not showing you? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, I see what you did. You had it very cleverly cropped. Yeah. Yes! Of course I want to continue without saving. It's bowling. I don't care. <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to save? You don't want to save your bowling score? There it is, Blast Entertainment. The first time we're going to see it tonight. What a smug jerk. Under sublicense from Bethesda, so at some point some money went into this game. Atomic Planet, how I loathe the Bethesda, huh? I, I I wish I would return to the times when I just thought Atomic Planet was the people who fucked up the Mega Man anniversary collection. <laughs> But no, they fucked up a lot of stuff, it turns they out. They fucked up a lot. Can you uh, turn things down on our end? Yeah, let's do that. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that FMV in the background. It's beautiful. Oh, I don't want to save, and yes, I'm sure. No, Danny, are you sure? Oh, oh my god, it's Lance <laughs> Pinbuster. Lance Pinbuster. You want to read out these names? Frank Crackshot. Joey Spinshot. Woodrow Pinsetter. <laughs> Woodrow. Rosalie Rack. Hey, fuck? whoa, hey. Carla Curler. Stella Shershot. Bra Brandy Rocket. And Lance Pinbuster. Nice. Yeah, Blast Hard Cheese, Big McLarge Huge. All right, I'll be going with um, this guy. Lance. And we'll be facing off against Frank. Here it's time to going. bowl. Hey, let's bowl. Okay. Do you like bowling? Uh, no. I'm bad at it. It's a physical activity. So. Yeah. Same. <laughs> so this, uh, this game gives you a whole bunch of different fantasy-themed bowling alleys to choose from. And you can choose from extreme versions. Okay. Alex, uh, which of these catches your eye? Baton Rouge Extreme? Baton Rouge Extreme it is. Let's go. We're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and it's extreme. I don't know what separates these regular mode uh, bowling alleys from their extreme counterparts. Maybe it's like death matches. Maybe there's like barbed wire. Like I hope you, you break a... some fluorescent tubes. <laughs> I was thinking fluorescent <laughs> tubes. Yes. <laughs> all right. No oil. All Baton Rouge. This... Yeah. No oil. Just just how I like my bowling. This this game got jams. It does. This game got a little bit of jams. So you can use both analog sticks to determine where your bowler is and where the the ball should go. Oh, shit. Well, I got that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You know what? Fuck it. This ball's going right in the fucking gutter. Maybe this bowling alley doesn't deserve my bowling balls. It has bowling alley animation? It does. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> now let's see how the computer. Oh, nice split, idiot. Thank you, 100 bits from the Ultimo. Does the AMF have a hardcore belt? You have to challenge, unfortunately, <laughs> now. Yeah, the uh, Insane Clown Posse are the current owners of that belt. <laughs> Look at that. 
He's miming the perfect throw <laughs> as if to stunt on me. You got a nine, buddy. You didn't get all the pins. Who do you think you are? I am. I gonna... There we go. Fuck you. Oh, oh. Eat the... shit. Stunt on this. Sexy strike animation. What's with the babes? I don't know. Why? Is... <laughs> this game is weirdly babelicious. It's just... Oh, that's pretty good for a beginner. For an idiot. How long have you been doing this? Like, uh, you just start today? <laughs> oh, you think you can hit all three? I don't think so. Oh, nope, oh no. man. It glanced oh, off that it. center one. Yeah. The easy one to get. So, so we talk a big game, but this is just this is just a bowling game. There's many of these for the PS2, for systems before and after. You can throw the ball into the... <laughs> that every time it's he gotta see the babes i like the record scratch effect like oh you really <laughs> fucked up in the club everyone in the club hates your vibe what uh, what i i despawned it you despawned your ball hate when that happens yeah this is really you're right this is high production quality for blast it I is yeah so we uh, we got some instructions about this game uh -huh. A person by the name of JP Ronnie in our Discord, I'd like to credit them for this. Mm -hmm. They said, uh, if you end up playing AMF Extreme Bowling 2006, have the CPU do the pin challenge. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see what that's like. Now, do you want to save? <sighs> no! You can't find a save. No, I don't want to save! Sure? I don't want to load! I don't want to do shit! I'm just here to bowl! Checking memory card. Is there bowling stuff on here yet? I want to make some bowling stuff. All right. Who should it be? Okay. So what you want to do is make sure they're set to CPU and then hit add profile. Now the computer is going to show us how it's done. Okay. I guess this is like a challenge mode or something. We'll just go with Hollywood. Hollywood, baby. Hollywood, California. We're going to see some tool assisted speed running level bowling <laughs> coming up right now. Man, it's loading that bowling alley. I am so excited to see the Way back when, alley. bowling alleys took like 20 seconds to load. You kids have it good nowadays. You know they have bowling alleys in, in, vir in VR chat? Cool. Yeah, I went to one. It was in the bottom of someone's house. Danny? Yeah? What's going on? You said this was pretty good for a Blast Entertainment game, right? Uh, do you still stand by that? Um. Apparently you can do this in the uh, US version, too. <laughs> Going great. <laughs> so, so I discovered this during testing, but I didn't see what Hot actually- drinks? What the fuck? I didn't see what actually happened when the ball got to the pins, so this will be a surprise for all of us. Big meal. I want to get one of those long meals. <laughs> pool. Billiards. Okay. They got pool billiards. Bowling Alley has it all. Video arcade. Hey, those are Space Invaders. They own the rights. Don't worry. I guess so. I guess the, the Space Invaders sprites are just public domain. People sure seem to think they are. Yeah. Yeah. How close do you think we are? 50%? I think so. Hot drinks really get you going. We could watch all of the Wendy's training videos in the time we it could. Uh, takes the ball to get to the fence. So what's your bet? Um, what do you I think? think you're gonna get them all. You think so? Yeah. Well, that's that's what I'm thinking too. Like the second it touches pin one, like all of them will explode, and it'll be a perfect strike. Look at the way it's Yeah, just, you know, some slow bowling. Yeah, starting things off bowling. on a Friday night with some slow bowling. That should be a competition to see how slow your ball can go. They, it they should. would install, like, uh, speed detectors. <laughs> like, wow, you got your ball going at 0.1 miles per hour. I got mine going at 0. 0.0001 miles per hour. That's what we're watching right now. Yeah, this is a reverse speed run. 
It is going slower. Slow down. What if it starts going backwards? <laughs> you think this is what they're doing at Magfest right now? <laughs> Slowly. A hundred bits from the ultimote. Yeah, Danny learned how to cook Wendy style. Mm-hmm. I've seen the videos enough. You do the four corner press. God, I'm so fucking hyped. It got up to the uh, reflections of the pins. It's almost there. <laughs> I'll have to go back and time this. It's literally like at least two minutes, right? I'm so nervous. I'm yes. happy for him. Yes. He's finally going to make it. He's going to graduate. Yes. right through the oh, middle. Oh, whoa, wait, wait. What? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I'm confused too. <laughs> you gonna do it again? Oh, okay. Wow, he fixed his first, his uh, second attempt. That's a little bit better. A little bit. <laughs> God, that was good. I can't believe they left it in the game and it's in all the retail versions. Oh, that is God. the most fantastic thing I've ever seen in a bowling game. And then it just smash cuts back to the title screen. Excellent. Beautiful. What a good game. All right, let's go back to our usual lineup. That was too good. That was good enough to get a US release. We need some uh, some UK exclusive garbage. So why don't we start off with Lassie? Yeah, that's as good as I am at bowling too. I, <laughs> I'm very bad. I was doing gutter balls even in VR chat too. But I'm waiting I, to see this Lassie game. Yes, yes, it's Lassie! Lassie, now, do you all know Lassie? Now, was there a Lassie movie to promote at this point? No. I don't, yeah, I didn't think there was a Lassie movie. Lassie like, was absolutely out of the public limelight for at those, time. For those who aren't aware, Lassie is a classic television show back when they were in black and white. And some movies. And and there was some movies. It was about a, a border collie named Lassie who helped her, her humans out of her, their many predicaments. And they got in so many predicaments. They fell in the well. They oh. fell in so many wells. Was there a Lassie movie? Because they're making it seem like there was a Lassie movie. It really I, does look like there's a yeah. prestige uh, Lassie movie. Was there a Lassie movie? I mean, a la newer Lassie had a movie in 2005. Ah, so this would have been uh, capitalizing I don't on that. that. Excellent. I don't remember this at all. And I thought I was a Lassie freak. Oh, this already looks good. By the way, Alex is playing this one. He agreed to uh, play all games starring pigs and dogs. You put the ass in Lassie. <laughs> Assy. Assy. It's even better. Yeah, say. <laughs> Timmy never falls in a well. I still don't. I still believe he falls in some kind. Is of Is that well. like some kind of mass hysteria event that we all think Timmy fell in the well? It's like a. Hi gang, this is Blast. Whoa. Blast is here to show you how to play Lassie. What? The left analog stick controls how Lassie moves. Alex! Moving yeah! Forwards, backwards, left and right. Why is he here and why does he talk? Explore, just like this. They have to teach you tank controls. The right analog stick controls the camera. Okay, This not could tank. be useful in certain situations. <laughs> Blab, I remember the, uh, <laughs> the ending theme the right of Lassie. Analog stick will reset the that camera. wistful whistling song. The square button makes Lassie, Lassie jump. You'll need this to get past... Oh, it's a 3D obstacles. platformer! When you press the X button, Lassie will crouch and creep. This will help her to avoid being seen. <laughs> She's just the here to creep. The triangle button will make Lassie sniff. If you are lost or can't see well, Lassie's sense of smell could really come in useful. The come in useful. button makes Lassie bark. Barking is a good way for Lassie to let others know she is there. Is coming useful the, the Britishism version of uh, coming handy? I guess so. Like, do people not have handies over there? Let's ask Lassie. Lassie. If you are looking for extra bones to collect, digging is a good way to find them. All right, everybody, start digging. We got to dig to get bones. <laughs> um... Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Lassie's not just Joe's dog. She was his best friend in the Who's home. Joe? I don't know who Joe is. Those horrible days when the evil Eddie Hines trying to keep Lassie, tried to keep Lassie and Joe apart were far behind. And the nasty Mr. Hines had lost his job. To add to their happiness, Lassie had six puppies. But whoa, she's a mom. But Eddie was a bitter man and 
Bling Blasting Joe for all the Alex, knows. this is a game starring an animal mom. It's it's like Bird Week. Ah, what a beautiful litter of pups. They'll fetch a pretty penny, I'll warrant. Bit of a down payment against they the damage will? they've done me. Yeah. Hank drove around the village of a little countryside, selling the dogs door to door, apparently. <laughs> and then he returned to his hideout, keeping one beautiful little collie pup to himself. Hey, you want some dogs? When Lassie and Joe discovered the missing pups, they were distraught. Then Joe noticed something. Those shows la look last. Those tracks must have been made by Hines. Quick, Lassie, must track and must try and track Hines down, and I'll warn the police. Good luck, Lass. <clears throat> oh, we're calling her Lass now. Lassie's on the trail. I have right, no idea what go. to expect from this. This is one I booted up just to make sure, make sure it worked. I hadn't seen the game itself at all. Mm -hmm. Man, we're learning all about the story of this stupid movie that. I'm still not convinced exists. Real, yeah. <laughs> What's with the epic mu movie music? <laughs> it's like Batman's tracking down the Joker. Oh, she can jump on This summer, Lassie plays fetch. I'm gonna have to add this to the short list of games where you play as a dog. Oh, shit. And specifically, Lassie! a mother dog. Lassie is very... There's dog's life, but you don't play as a girl dog in that one. I'm just yeah. very impressed by this game. It's a series I of firsts. Nice. Okay, how do I... That is Iron Chef music. <laughs> Cuisan, the dog appears to be leaping about the complex. Back to you. <laughs> That's true, Mongambo. You you can poop and fart in a dog's life. That could be the case in this game. We haven't seen the whole thing. Found another bone. You could be a girl dog in the Yuke's uh, dog RPG. Come on. There we go. I'm learning all kinds of stuff about dogs. Not liking these textures. Yeah, this is pretty basic looking for a, a movie license game. <laughs> but I mean, that's, uh, that's that's kind classy. of... That's kind of Blast Entertainment's M.O. Get the cheap license, preferably for a movie where you don't have to have a human actor's likeness. That's true, Lassie doesn't have likeness rights issues. I got- I somehow got another bone. Nice. Can okay. you put your nose to the ground? How? With like, circle? Circle? Circle's part. And... Do a stealth takedown. Okay. Remember the basics of CQC. I think triangle is nose, because I'm trying to sniff. Mm -hmm. And it is not letting me sniff. I guess I just got to follow the tracks here. So let me try this. I think Do you I ever think work. about how animals have all their senses exercised at all times, and we only exercise a couple of ours? It's bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Like video games, they give us the, uh, the visual and audio stimulation, but we don't smell anything while we play them. You just want... Do you want video games to smell? I want them to have all five of the senses. Yes! Maybe. Nice! Good work. All right. I think this would be much more compelling if you had all of the major senses of a dog while you were playing it. That's just the power of the dog. Oh, I'm, speed boost! <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm talking about the things that everyone wants in video games. I'm finally putting it to words. They want to smell. They want to smell as much crap as they can. Yeah, I want to taste Mario. Finally, someone else gets it. Okay, I found someone. Hey. Bite him on the ass. <laughs> Ask for help! Ask for help! <laughs> Do you gotta go around talking to the NPCs? <laughs> <laughs> they all know who Lassie is. <laughs> yeah, you like that speed boost? There's a lot of good mechanics in this game. Dog bone. Dog bone. Yeah, I walk up to a guy and he goes, hey. This does remind me of Sonic 06 in a lot of ways. It's not the right way. It feels like you're in a snowy prison camp or something. This yeah. is really, this is really dour. Oh god, I'm going so fast. Good lord. Slow down, Lassie, please. No, Lassie! Do you know anything about puppies? On that day, 
when the <laughs> snow fell, did you see a black car? Just talk to everyone, and then All the right. village elder will let you through. <laughs> yeah, you gotta bark more. When you bark, the camera changes. That's cool. Did I come from this way? I combine Lassie and Lassie into one word. Lassie, Lassie. Alright, fuck that. I'm just going my own way. Yeah, do the speed run. Head to the hedge maze. When you bark, it goes overhead, and you have to fix the camera. That's so weird. Lassie Nitro. Go, dog, go. No, no! Oh, bullshit. Invisible wall! That's bullshit. Why did they let you go that far? I know, right? <laughs> Put some barrels in front of that street. Bar like barrels, crates, trash cans? A lot of kids like the Dreamcast era of Lassie. I gotta say, Lassie Adventure 2 was a real letdown. <laughs> Perhaps go where the uh, the arrow is. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's like those Simpsons protos, except it's not nearly weird enough. Like, what was that one for the Xbox? You controlled a bug exterminator or something? Or you were a bug? Okay, People always had play. demented ideas for Simpsons games. Alex battling the controls, trying to take control of the the hound. Okay. I, it, it wants I me think to... it's just pointing north. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, I can see why you'd think that. I can see why you'd think that that was a, a destination marker, but it's just a compass. A dog compass. Can I play? <laughs> Hold on! Alex is entering a secret code. That's so good that it's just a compass. I did you a huge solid here. You Thank go. you. <laughs> Let's see how this controls. Badly. Oh, the camera. All of it's see? inverted. Every axis is inverted in a different way than I was expecting. It's like you're you're piloting an airplane. And these buttons do. Oh, I see what you mean about the camera tilting up. Very strange. Sepasai, hello. Thank hello. you for the bits. Thank you. Welcome uh, to Lassie. This is Found just another what Lassie bone. Sounds like. Square jumps. That's twisted. Isn't it twisted? Look what I can do. This is where you have to impersonate a corgi <laughs> in order to sneak into the, the dog bar. I wish this game had a dog bar. Maybe it does. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's a dead end. Man. Being a dog's boring. It is. You should follow the tracks on the ground. There's tracks? Yeah. The the, the car tracks. See them? The two lines. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Alright, let's do that. Actual dog detective work. There's someone you should talk to them. Okay. <laughs> bark, 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 bark. Hey. Hey. Hey, don't ignore me. <laughs> we were doing that! There's a speed bone if you want to go to hell. Okay. Behind you. There it is. See it? Nyong. See? Look at how fast she's going. Only for a few seconds, though. Yeah. I'm the royal male dog. <laughs> Danny. Find the Mahjong parlor, Lassie. <laughs> All right, let's follow this set of tracks and see where we see where we're gonna go. We so rarely get the chance to play a PS2 game based on Lassie. I might as well make the most of it. Yeah, it, where is you know? I'm gonna look this up because it's driving me bananas. I gotta learn about the Lassie movie that came out in 2005. That I it had to be like UK exclusive or something, right? Yeah, I I just had not. I had never it. heard of it in my entire life. Okay, I'm looking this up. Lassie. I know about the Dennis the Menace movie. I know about the Inspector Gadget movie. 2005. Well, I'll be damned. U.S. release and all. Don't know. Let me check IMDb, but. A family in financial crisis is forced to sell Lassie, their beloved dog. <laughs> Hundreds of miles away from her true family, Lassie escapes and set out, sets out on a journey. So poor, we had to sell our dog. 
I found, uh, I found a place. I'm doing a breaking and entering. Oh, good. Let's see if we can get to a fight scene. That's a strong rating on 6.7 on IMDb. There was a 2020 Lassie? What? No. I had to keep bringing back this dog. It takes place in London. It takes place in York. It's, it's you're the son of a Yorkshire miner. Oh, I see. Look at this. We gotta do a dog puzzle. Oh, I see. No, this uh, came out in the U.S. It's uh, French and American. This wasn't a U.K. movie Ooh. at all. It grossed... Um, I did it. In the U.S., last week grossed... Guess how much it grossed in the theaters? Uh, $4 million. Lower. <laughs> really? Yeah. $2 billion. Lower. $1 million. Lower. Five hundred k Higher. 700 k Close. 652 k Wow. Gross U.S. and Canada. I sure Worldwide, hope it... Worldwide, it got $6 million, I sure but... hope it didn't cost that much to make. Let's see. It's an hour and 40 minutes. You always love to know that. Yeah, and I can't see the budget here, but The yeah. 2020 film is German, hey? Suddenly, the world is making less and less sense the more I learn about the Found mini- him. Kill him! Kill him! Yeah. Kill him! I'll be taking that pup. I'll give him a call. Here's your dog back. Sorry about that. Thanks. You found one. Now go find the rest. Right, let's get you home. <laughs> the British accents are implied. Let's save game. Yeah, it's true that people adopt puppies and that's normal, but it's Lassie's puppy. We had to play the epic movie trailer music music <laughs> over it. Can't uh, Joe? Joe's got other things to do. We are not ranking this tonight, are we? I think we may uh, have to rank it eventually. What? Folks, what are we going to do with our new puppy? We're going to feed, water, exercise, special meal, special drink. We're going to give it whiskey? Let's do that. Let's give it special some special play. play. You're running out of bones. <laughs> it uses bones when you do things. Let's feed, water, exercise. Yeah, that's enough exercise. And special meal. No uh, bones left. This freaking puppy's been maxed out. We're gonna min-max this boy. Max, it's the power of the dog. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see what downhill pursuit is all about and then we'll move on. I'm just... This seems to have some depth and some budget. Okay. But also it looks like this. A walker? Yeah, Lassie, if you lost some of your pups, I think I know where one might be. Calling him a walker, that sounds like a enemy in a zombie game or something. I heard tires squealing and looked across the road and I saw a little collie pup running for it. Oh, God. Oh, no, we gotta go. Good luck, Lassie. <laughs> I'm not gonna help you. Oh, my God, is she gonna build a sled? Alex. We're going to sled Lassie down this hill. Watch out for rough ground and rocks and trees. <laughs> go, girl, go! We need to watch this movie, Alex. We need to watch this movie that I didn't know existed okay. until ten minutes ago. Okay, I, let me see when this movie came out. This kicks ass. Should we, should we watch this in the Discord? Honestly, I think we should. I want to show more dog movies. I don't know where I'm going. Is this like SSX3 where it's an open world? So I have horrible news. Lassie isn't available for streaming. Are you kidding? Not in the least. It's it's not on Apple or anything. You can't even rent it. Are they ashamed of Lassie? I think they might be. I think, uh... I lost track of where I was going. Lassie? <laughs> 
What's that one song from SSX3? I wish that was playing here. I got mad skills, I'm gonna get wild. I got mad skills, I got mad skills. You got me, you are, you're a mad skill dog. Let's head for the tree. Look out for large rocks. We can go right to the large rock? Yeah. It's a pretty leisurely uh, boarding down the, uh, the old slopes. Yeah, they need to put this on Tubi. Put the game on Tubi. Make yes. it a streaming thing. Tubi needs Tubi needs streamers. Tubi, Tubi, do you want to do an exclusive with us? Come on, think about it. We'll give you something good. Do it, Tubi. You know you wanna. Thank you for the hundred bits from Cartman, who's letting us know this dog is tricky. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, is this a dead end? Where do you go? <laughs> this is stupid. That's Lassie. A very stupid game for the PS2. But it is a game where you play as an animal mom, so that counts for something. No! Yeah. Sorry, I saw the last game. Next game. The next game is a little bit bigger budget than Blast's other games because it's based on a then popular British television program. I'm sorry, everybody. It's called Little Britain, the video game. Let's play it. I'm gonna have to skip all the actual scenes of the show because that's a that's an actual copyright violation. <laughs> gonna go ahead and save you the trouble on that one. I don't want to do it either, chat. I don't have a choice. The show the show is known for its great variety of uh, ableist jokes. And offensive humor. It's none of which is very funny. Gamerholics, addiction guaranteed. Excuse me. Game it's the sauce. game sauce. We got the game sauce. I'm wasted on the game sauce. Look at all these companies that were involved. Yeah, it's the racism, transphobia, and ableism show. So this is going to be great. I have a, a DVD video game of Little Britain that I'm going to bust out if, <laughs> unless you all shape up. <laughs> yeah, Danny is. I know where it is, and it's been. Th I'm threatened by it's it. It's sealed. It's a steel book. I imported it from Australia. <laughs> Why? Well, you gotta keep your chat in line, you know. I fucking hate this. No. Let's start this up. Welcome on board. Our first stop is Darkly Noon for a visit to Teenage Bum Vicky Pollard. It's a school day. Teenage so Bum. Vicky has taken herself off to the park. Parks are very popular in Britain, with over five parks per person. Skate Vicky through the park and collect as many CDs as you can. Vicky's having a party, and she needs CDs to decorate her wondrous flat. Do tricks for extra points, but not if you don't want to. Skate hard and keep it real. I don't want to do tricks. Oh man, you gotta memorize these button combinations too. So all these mini games are yeah. based on scenes but from the show. But yeah. But game. And uh, this is one of them. There we go. Let's oh skate. My God. CD. Never CD. See if you if you'd seen the show, you'd be howling right now. You'd be like, oh my god! This is one of those fake mobile game ads, yes. This is pre-mobile games, though. They managed to get the look down perfect. They didn't even know it. This doesn't control very well, believe it or not. You don't say. Oh, I missed the combo. This is like a Shockwave advert game. Oh my god, I do can't believe you just made me do that. I got mad skills, I'm gonna get wild. Oof. I'm sorry, Britain. I think Britain should be apologizing. I feel bad. It's not Britain. Britain didn't vote for this show to exist. They. It wasn't all. It but wasn't no one stopped it either. Things. They were all like, "Oh, I don't approve of this. Better just let this happen and pretend it's normal." I mean. That's right. You're all responsible. <laughs> I blame you directly. It's okay. I take all. I take responsibility for all the bad shows that aired in uh, the U.S. too. So. Yeah, we. Uh... Do I need to apologize for Mrs. Colombo? I think you should. Okay, I'm apologizing for Mrs. Colombo. Yeah, it was very disrespectful to the show. Thanks for the bits, Carmen. We will use it to nuke the U.K. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. What about Family Guy? Huh? Huh? 
Uh, but we have Family Guy funny moments, so that's it's true. not all bad. Ah, uh, yeah, Ultra Gamer, that's right. Kim Justice did put this in her worst games list, and she's right to do mm -hmm. so. No, we're not going to see it, but the next mini game involves a, a person pretending to be disabled. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah, that that joke. That joke. I think my the only I only I was first introduced to Little Britain by um by Kim Justice talking about it and just losing her mind. Yeah, she was upset that this existed. So maybe all British people uh, are equally upset by like, this that's, existing. That's what I have to say. I, I haven't met a British person who was. They didn't just have like, a say in the production. Yeah, I didn't do it. Double grind. Uh, triple grind. This uh, this goes on for a while. Sure does. Are you laughing? Yeah. Are, are we laughing? Yeah. Are we, la are, are we having are we having the goofs and the japes? Yeah. This is. Uh... Alex, I just noticed something. Mm. You see in the top right. No. No, I just noticed that too. <laughs> So even if we did do a full lap, we'd have to do it all over again. Well, luckily you have a time limit of three minutes, so... And luckily, I have a streaming partner who would never close the emulator window on me, right? You can't see it, but the mouse is moving. Sister. Come on, this is the end of the first lap! We're almost there! Just three minutes more of this! Alex! But yeah, but I do totally meant to do that actually if you didn't mind, if you didn't even know. See? I'm laughing already! Jester <laughs> 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 pilled. I, I think this game's point has been made. Okay. If you want to play this, it's very cheap. Never came. But beware, you will get bopped if you stream the uh, actual FMV portions of this yeah, game. Yeah, don't do that. Luckily we didn't get to that point. So Little Britain gets none of our money. Next game. God. Laser Belt, thank you for the 47 months. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hand, hand clap to hand, hand clap. clap, yes. That's my favorite extreme stunts move. Thank you. Wait, what? Next up, here's uh, here's something that's a little bit unusual. Look at the file size on this one, Alex. Holy this one, shit, it's two. This one was a DVD-ROM. They, they sprung for the, the big leagues on this one. No CD-ROM for this one. Nope, this one deserves a DVD. This is also a little unusual because this is a, a game published by Blast Entertainment's owner, Mastertronic. Mastertronic, every single other day, game they released for the PS2 in the UK had the Blast labeling on it. But not this one. I think it's because this is an M-rated game, and uh, they didn't want the, the family-friendly image of Blast Entertainment to be ruined. Or they just fucked up somehow, I don't know. Now the real story behind this game is that this is a cancelled Acclaim game. People really? were working on this at a claim when the studio shut down suddenly and locked everyone out of the office. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, it was cool. It was many years later when people uh, picked up the license to the lowest bidder and they got the, the the pleasure of releasing it in the U.S. and the U.K. Yeah, yeah, now move over. I'm driving. Look, this is a very big day for me. <clears throat> Philly called. By the end of the day, I'm either going to be a made man or I'm going to be dead. A dead man. What the fuck's going on? It's about money. This time it's gold, but it's always about fucking money. Good evening. Welcome to the fucking money. This game is uh, by default very quiet. Yeah, I'm We're working boosting on it. Uh, boosting it right now. Hey, listen, when we got back from Nam, eggs said he owed me. Eggs? You mean Johnny Eggs, right? I heard him. <laughs> Johnny Eggs? Johnny Eggs? <laughs> He's got a corner on the egg market. He said he had some big plans, and I went right along with him, because pretty much I had nothing else to do that day. Said something about eggs. Johnny Eggs. Little Italy. That's where I first met Philly Lombardi. Okay, there we go. I had to boost hey, this by so 10 Joey. decibels, by the way. I'm glad you could do that so people could hear Joey Eggs. Johnny Eggs, sorry. He's talking about eggs. <laughs> so I understand you're looking for work. Look, I got a little business in North Carolina you could take care of for me. We're going to North Carolina? Is that a hotbed of mob activity? Maybe I shouldn't ask. It is now. Like buying cigarettes cheaply in North Carolina and reselling them in New York. <laughs> tax, of course. What a oh. great plan. <laughs> Sounds pretty small time to me, but all right. Oh, we're in 1971. All right. Nowadays, you can't really do the whole reselling cigarettes bit. Give the Ultima 100 bits. This is the Kirkland, uh, Kirkland Mafia. Oh, man. Excuse Copyright me? music.
Uh, there, shut that off so we don't get copyright struck. Little service around here would be nice. You should have turned this down now. It got a lot louder. Trying to enjoy a nice meal? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I could have made the fucking thing myself for that kind of money. Everyone gets a free kick. Oh, sorry, sorry about this. Okay, Benny, I've just about had enough. Go on, get out of here. Ain't that your brother's messing with that truck? Okay, folks, everyone stay in your It's like a lot of GTA games. This starts off with a fairly guided, scripted sequence to give you the whole tutorial. No son of a bitch threatens me or my. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Also, this game's not really emulated right, so the whole screen blacks out for a second every time anyone shoots a gun, <laughs> which is pretty funny. So was there a... did you see a pickup anywhere around here? There we go. Now, this is uh, this is pretty advanced for uh, an of-its-era GTA clone. It has an actual reticle. It doesn't rely on auto-aim like the early GTA uh, 3D games did. Yeah, where's Lassie? Look, Benny's one of Weasel Waltz boys. If I know them, Weasel Walt, Johnny Eggs works there. Place on the other side of the swamp to strip it clean. Come on, Joe. I got yeah, did you have fun following that dialogue where everyone's talking over each other at the same time? Get Ernie on the phone. Tell him we're yeah, on our way. I will. I couldn't fucking believe what was happening. Wait, language? Truck back. It was going to be a dead man. This is a blast entertainment production. We can't have. Never seen this before. We can't have a fuck word what in this game. Looks all the ruck is false. Ain't got time to explain, Bill. Go out front and see if the girls need any help, okay? I'll be back Johnny Eggs, go eat, oh, go, go meet Bill Let's Ass. Go He's out there. Don't leave the diner till help gets here, okay? I want to meet sure. John. Apparently, Johnny Eggs sure, does boss. feature in this game later. Cool. gun over there on the side. Now this game's really bad. Um, I think I like previewed it or maybe even reviewed it back when it was under a claims banner. But uh, yeah, like I said, a claim shut down right after this game was finalized, and uh, a release didn't happen until like two or three years after it was scheduled to do. You gotta pick up the gun on the work surface. You got the gun, Joe. Come on. At the time, uh, I knew someone on the ground who was at the uh, the auction house where the whole thing was being auctioned. They let you walk around the acclaim office to see what was up for bids. Mm -hmm. Since they were selling literally everything, like office furniture, tables, things like that. They had to leave so quick. People at their cubicles, well, the people weren't there, but the cubicles were still full of, like, family photos and, like, signed photos from celebrities and shit. God, family photos. Yeah, so they just either dumpstered it or sold it off to whoever won the auction. You couldn't go back in and get your stuff. What if I, what if you bought some other family oh, photos? I don't know, that could be a huge uh, windfall. Be like, hey, I got your photos. And I paid twenty-five thousand dollars for this lot, so why don't you uh, give me five thousand bucks for these photos? Danny, that's Friends sick, yours. isn't it? The claim died as they lived in the garbage. <laughs> I didn't know it at the time, but there was a lot more to this than cigarettes. An innocent man had been killed here, and I had a feeling he wasn't going to be the last. I like that the environment flashes. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, it's supposed to be some kind of uh, custom lighting, but PCSX2 can't really emulate that. Uh, that makes sense. Okay. Maybe it works with the NTSC version. Again, this got a US release and it's very cheap, so if this looks like janky fun to you, maybe check it out. Hey! Did you see how I didn't even look when yeah, I fired that shot? Yeah, like, whatever. What an ultimate badass. Open doors with circle. I was gonna say ultimate badass, more like ultimate loser. You're just like whatever. <laughs> I have no regard for human life. I swear yeah, it's I a it's a cover shooter there. because it's around that time. The cover shooting is really bad, and and if you play this on a real PS2, it won't have these uh, video glitches. So keep that in mind. They should let you. Uh, they should let you bowl in this game. I agree. Let's go to the next game. Okay. Interesting story. Fascinating that it actually got released, because for a while we were all like, <laughs> should we just release these prototypes? Is this game getting an actual published release? But luckily it did. And you know what else got a release? A PS2 classic by the name of Mr. We B. We already know about this one. 
I can't believe we have to return to the world of Mr. Bean so soon. <laughs> so soon after we covered this on Mascot Friday. So many different languages he supports. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> I think I already made that joke. You, we already did, but it doesn't matter, does it? It's an LMG media company. You know it's going to be good. So we do this regular stream, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, called Mascot Friday, where we rank every single platformer ever made. And we ranked this one just a couple uh, couple weeks back. It did not rank well. It was sub Gex 64. It was not good. I wouldn't recommend it. Also, this is uh, based on the Mr. Bean animated series, not the live action Mr. Bean you may know. I like Lady Bean. I think I said that last time. Let's start this fucking up again. Let's go back to the infinite garden that never ends. <laughs> We spent like an hour in this first garden level. We did! Oh, we have to skip this too. So we don't get sued by Mr. Bean. People are... Yeah, I, I don't trust... Uh... The Mr. Bean anime. Yeah, 2007 PS2 game based on Mr. Bean, and it looks like this. So, chat asked, and I have to, to ask you, did you get the Mr. Bean NFT? I did not. I did buy it, but then, like, he slipped on it and broke it. Oh, man. Mr. Bean, you'll never learn. If you got a Mr. Bean NFT, the least it should do is crash your crypto wallet. The hunt begins. We're off to find Teddy or something. Oh, it does look like he has nostrils on his forehead. <laughs> Sub oh, man, those eyebrows. Subbed versus dubbed Mr. Bean. I think the subtitles here should have been, uh, ooh, uh, uh, uh instead of, ooh, uh, um. <laughs> anyway, this is a fucking 3D platformer starring Mr. Bean for some reason. You could play this game for a million hours, and I'm not sure there's anything beyond this one, uh, tile set. Can you, uh, turn things down on our end? It has a lot of... Oh, I forgot about the constantly buzzing bees and the, the fucking rakes you can step on. Oh, uh, this is like coming home to a home that I hate. Speaking of buzzing bees, you know what I got an alert for right before the show? A YouTube video about my girl. You might YouTube literally sent me an alert being like, my girl alert, my girl alert, this person's talking about my girl. Mr. Bean is staring at Alex right now. Well yeah. How did they know? How it just know? it just knows us. You know, all those microphones secretly recording us and these various devices we have. Because I was talking about My Girl with you, and then I got an alert being like, you want to watch a My Girl video? And I was like, Jesus Christ. You think that's bad? Oh, yes, Am Catboy Jump Animation is so good. <laughs> you think that's bad? Amazon discovered I might be a gay. Oh, no! How, how, what bad movies have they been showing you? No, it's just like... <laughs> okay. In my recommendeds, it was all like, hey, buy something for yourself, and it was nothing but striped socks. <laughs> and then on page two, it was all like, hey, here's a series of uh, transgender pl pride flags you may want to buy. <laughs> like Amazon. I'm sorry, I'm laughing that Amazon is trying to... It found some combination of algorithm bullshit to discover that I might be one of the gays. <laughs> That's so Oh, I forgot what you do here. Don't you have to break down the fucking fence or something? This game blows. This is the worst. <laughs> oh, you have to push crates! I forgot about that! Uh... Yeah, they're just programmer socks. <laughs> what would I do if Amazon decided I was Mr. Bean? It would just recommend me, like, teddy bears and giant turkeys to put on my head. <laughs> we think you'd like... It's just like a raw turkey. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Actually. <laughs> Go on in, Mr. Chad Bean. Chad says Soka Bean. Soka Bean. See, it could have been a puzzler. It could have been anything. But they made it a 3D platformer, so they made it our problem. And now it's everyone's problem. So if you want, you can play a 3D platformer based on Mr. Bean for the PS2 and also the Wii. If that's something you ever feel like doing. Fuck you, Mr. P. Don't kill him! <laughs> Next game. 
<laughs> All right, just another couple months before we return to Mr. Bean again. I can't wait. Oh, shit. This one's also big. It's two gigs. This one also got a release in the U.S., and I think uh, they, they must have spent a whole lot more money on this because this is a DVD-ROM game, and it has an actual license and production value. This is a National Geographic Safari Adventures. Safari, Safari. <laughs> wow! What? Interlacing? How's that? I wonder how that comes through on stream. Um, I'm looking at our screen. It looks like, wow. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Cartman, for the 100 bits. Thank yeah, you. we took him back to his home planet. Deep underground. Neko Entertainment, let's go! Many fine, wow, uh, this looks like... many fine horrible okay. games for the PS2. It does have interlacing settings, if you want me to turn that on. I don't really care. Okay. We're just gonna play this for a couple minutes. It looks fine to me, but then again, I'm a few feet away from the screen. Sorry about y'all's eyes. So I guess this is in the same league as Made Man and AMF Extreme Bowling. Yeah, Neko, that's right. They made the mm -hmm. uh, the Garfield game. I was trying to think of which one they made that we played. Hello, Alex. The scan lines are Hello, backwards. Sir. Cool. Hello, Alex. Hi. Myself. I'm the ranger. And if you like, I'll be your guide. Shall we get going? I don't like. Okay, I'm ready. You can move the screen to the sides and up and down. What? I can go places? Really? Sass, you've played yes. this? Are you familiar with I'm this? Going to show you how. I had I'm never heard of this in my life. Follow me. Okay. Press F5 oh, a few yeah, times. Yeah. Let's okay. try that. Towards the top of the screen. When you move, you will see more scenery. Follow me and you'll see what I mean. There we go. Bottom field first. That's what we had to do. Thank you, Blab. Appreciate it. I wasn't going to look into that shit. <laughs> wow, this kid is so... Okay, I... It looks this kid better, is slow but this kid ass. is messed up. Can he jump? Thank God it's not a platformer. Well done, Alex. You're the best. <laughs> you Thank walked you. five feet. Good job. <laughs> You're the best. Trash, pick it up. Thank you. You can use all the objects you collect. For example, you can fill the flask in the river. You should probably get a new flask. Oh, be careful during that. Okay, we will be careful. I'll, uh, I'll be, I'll keep that in mind. Sass. I haven't actually seen the water horse, but I want to see it. Oh yeah, we're gonna play the water horse. Has anybody seen the water horse? I have no idea what the water horse is. Based on a movie about the water horse. And it's uh, the Blast Entertainment game is on a CD-ROM and a very low file size. I was hoping the water horse would be streaming on Tubi. It is not. Ironic. Wait, how is that ironic? Because he's the water horse. He should be streaming. Oh. 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 Yeah, you get it, and then you decided you didn't like it. Sorry, That's honey. That's a common thing in this household. <laughs> like, I don't get it, Danny. And then suddenly, oh, I get it and I hate it. I didn't thank see you. you, thank you, thank you for the water horse you image, Akko. I am so glad. Oh, is that? Oh. I don't see a damn river. Is this the river? Yes. This? Yes. This fucking ditch? Yes. <laughs> We're gonna drink ditch water? Yes. Drink the ditch water. That's disgusting. Well done. Now you have a flash All natural grain water. water. It's good for you. Be useful <laughs> to you later. Okay, Alex, I'll leave you to go for a walk on your own. With a bit of luck, you might come across an ibex. Try talking to him. Hey, if you meet an ibex an in real ibex? life, don't talk to them. Wow. Why not? Cool. I'm going right away. I don't know. I just think that they would attack you. I'm going to do my weird kid walk. There's an ibex. <laughs> it's just... Does this look good to you? It looks like ibex.jpg from where I'm sitting a few feet it back. Looks, it looks better close up. Okay. <laughs> Let's take it for a ride. Hi there, Ibex. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Hi. <laughs> Would you like to go for a trek in the mountain? Just climb on my back. I'll Don't climb you. on an Ibex's back. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go. What do I do? With pleasure. Use the saddle to climb on my back, and then I'll take you up the mountain. Hello, Alex. 
Hi. I don't know if I would do this. I just, I don't. I think that if I met a wild ibex and I tried to saddle them, they'd get really Yeehaw. pissed off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck, dude. Over we go. This is one of those auto platformers like Uncharted. I dislike those. Right. I should be in control of my jumps. Damn it. The wolves we're going to meet in the mountains. We're, we're gonna meet the, the wolves. Mountains? Yeah, they're gonna eat yes. you. And they'll need help putting out some fires. Wolves are they agreed not to eat my family if I delivered a human child. Seems like a fair deal, though, don't you say? Honk. And over we go! <laughs> I mean, this is one of Blast's better games. It's weird that it alternates in between me and hey, I'm an Ibex. Here we are. Hurry over and help the wolves. When you're finished, I'll take you back. Okay, Ibex. See you later. My. Wait. Yeah, you can't ride an Ibex. That would really harm them. It's really nice that the animals let me ride on them like this. Hey, Mr. Wolf. Hiya, Alex. Are you coming to play with us? Actually, the Ibex told me to help you. You got some problems? Wow, that's really kind. Well, you see... Maybe the Ibex should worry about his own problems. Their fields, but the fires have spread everywhere. The trouble is... You won't tell anyone, will you? We're scared of fire. As a result, we're stuck on the mountain. Damn, dude. Sorry Do you think about you that. Can put them out? Hmm. I could use my flashlight. Go put water out the fires. The that should work. Hey, not dumb for a human. Come <laughs> on, give it a go. Nagged. <laughs> totally. All right, my beastly friends, let's go put out the fire. Oh. I mean, is this a problem? You're afraid of this? Yeah. Eh, oh, okay. I thought he was gonna push the kid into the fire. <laughs> Be like, ah, roast kid tonight. If you need water, the river isn't far. I solved your problem. There's more. There's more, Danny. The flask is empty. I'll have to fill it. I didn't know what this game was. With the National Geographic branding, I assumed it was like some kind of educational disc or uh, maybe a quiz. But no, it's a full-blown adventure game where there you talk go. to animals. The flask is full. Put out the fire. A realistic look at Alex's daily life. Mm -hmm, that's what I do every day. You put out fires for wolves. Mm -hmm. I go to the forest. Yeah, I went to the forest, and you know, I, 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 I ran into a wolf, and they were like, hey, could you put out this fire? And I was just like, I'm scared of fires. No, thank you. <laughs> and how much peyote were you on at the time? Listen, we don't talk about that. The flask is full. Yeah, ban Alex. Yeah, he shouldn't be ban. talking to the wolves. I just, you know, thought it'd be nice. <clears throat> and they didn't eat me, so, you know. I'm still alive. Yeah, you're strengthening the bond between humans and wolves. Mm -hmm. Probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, the bond should remain as it is. Is that all the fires? There we go. The flask is full. Hopefully. Drinking ditch water. I can't believe this. Hi there. Hi, Alex. <laughs> That's it. Hey, friend wolf. Hey, Alex. Are you happy now? Afraid of the big bad wolf. Not us, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, he's that's one of the gay wolves. I like that gay wolf. <laughs> he always talks in song. That's it. You put out all the fires. Thanks. How about a souvenir photo? Yeah. Okay. okay. Smile and no moving. Cheese. Yeah, we found the gay wolves. This game is good now. <laughs> You know, bit by bit, you're going to build a fantastic scrapbook with the tales of all your adventures. Oh, that's what we're doing. Do it whenever you want. We're making memories for ourselves with our oh, wolf friends here in nature. Chomp the air. That's what wolves do. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all right. We can go home. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem. Hey, no worries. 
Man, what a nice little adventure we had. Yeah. National Geographic Safari Adventure. One of the best games I've played by Blast Entertainment. Mostly because they just published it. Next game. Next up. Oh, I know this guy. I know this guy. You know He's really this popular guy? now. You heard of this guy? Yeah. <clears throat> you heard of this uh, Paddington bear? I have. Very popular. He's been showing up in a lot of movies lately. Cartman, thank you for the 100 bits. We are Team Jacob. <laughs> Oh, fuck it. You fuck love this. It. You love fuck to it. see it. No, no uh-uh. You love oh, it. Uh-uh, it's your favorite. Jeez. What are all these languages? These are all fake. Well, some of these are real. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he's playing? He's playing the joy of sex on CDI. <laughs> no, he's not playing the joy of sex. He's, he's playing a CDI. He's playing the guy game. Okay. No! <laughs> Even worse! Classic Paddington Bear. You look at that bear and you just think, classic. What would a hard mode in a Paddington Bear game entail? Let's find out. Hi, gang. No! Say hello to no! Blast. He's here to show you how to play Paddington Bear. No, 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 no! Every level in Paddington is different, so remember to keep a lookout for on-screen instructions. Instructions. When you see the word start appear on the loading screen, press the triangle button and the game will begin. The left analog stick usually moves Paddington around the screen. Is this a different the voice from the last one? Move it left, right, up I and down so. to move Paddington around the screen. Why? On these Ultimo, levels, thank you for the 100 bits. The 100 bits. I think at this point, yeah, we need an emote. Jumping is important to help Paddington avoid dangers and obstacles. Yeah, it does sound at different. Times, the also, these uh, tutorials remind me of the uh, the ones from Collect Town with gifts, No Name mm -hmm. and Psycho photo. Killer, especially. Yeah, yeah. In some levels, there are objects that Paddington can use by pressing the circle button. This game looks awesome. The triangle Why button did you go close to enough that almost comedically? <laughs> I was some real Vic Burger editing. What was that? <laughs> when you come zoom to in decorate action. Paddington's bedroom, pushing the right analog stick left and right will move the camera. The left analog stick can be used to browse through menu items. I saw the score up there. Yeah, does this have pinball scoring? He had like 10 billion points in that one scene. He Patty. wants to have a bath, but mm -hmm. it appears the bathroom's been flooded. You gotta help him shut off all the valves to drain the water away. This is hard mode, so this is gonna be hard. Are you kidding me? Is this the whole game? <laughs> this! This looks like a Flash game. This looks fake. This is a Tim and Eric skit. This is not real. Fake. Fake. Faker this... than fake. This is not <laughs> the level you of quality. You lost your toast! It's not the level of quality I've come to expect from Blast Entertainment. Not the level of quality I'd expect from Paddington. Paddington, you... Yeah, Paddington's better than this. I know he is. Did he need money back then? Oh, good. The entire first floor was flooded! Yeah! This is sub Booty Witch, I agree. <laughs> booty Witch would be much better. Some real x plague energy. Look how far he went back! Watch out, you've only got three toasts left. Oh, my toasts. What are you gonna do without your toast? We. Oh, God! You died. <laughs> died, Paddington. How was I, I supposed to know where the platform was? No! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You have insane knockback in this no. game. It is obscene. This is... Poor children having to play this. Do you I'm think so you'd get a quality, quality Paddington adventure based on the, the strength of the Paddington name? Yeah, here he is, hopping atop toilets. You don't want your kids repeating this. You don't want them flooding the bathroom and then hopping up on the toilets. You don't want to teach your kids about hop and bop action. Yeah, not in the home. Mm -mm. That's where most uh, hop and bop accidents happen. It's true. Oh, 
Who was it who took this luxurious bubble bath who flooded the entire first floor of our house? I think it's probably Paddington himself. Paddington? Oh. Congrats, you made it. I can't stay mad at you, Paddington. Yeah, were there like five toilets in the same room? That He's cool. lost in the underground station! Paddington, you fuck up. Is this a... It's a... It's a multi-lane platformer, a la Guardian Heroes? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, this game is bad, but you and like Guardian stealth. Heroes. It's stealth. We gotta avoid the bobbies. That dude's fucking blind. What's that guy? Oh, he has a he has a an undershirt on. I thought he was just wearing a, a vest with bare sleeves. <laughs> just the vest and nothing else. Yeah, I'm kind of wrong. Thought it was a new wave of British punks. They just wear vests. Hundred bits from the Ultima. How did this become Bonanza Brothers? It was yeah, it uses that kind of system. Of all the games to rip off your Paddington Bear game. Yeah, the Bob the Builder game looked much better. This, nah, not so much. Let's go upstairs. Can we crucify Paddington Bear? Uh, if this is your first time watching, Danny usually doesn't ask if we can crucify the mascot. Yeah, it's, I have a reason to from last time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least one of the mascots we covered was crucified. Oh, find the platform that goes to Hogwarts and block it off. <laughs> Put a real brick wall there. We're just bricking piss, up. Yeah, piss off all the wizards. We're bricking up old nine and seven eighths or whatever. Oh it yeah. Is. <laughs> you know, I like that joke better when uh, Naked Gun did it. Naked Gun two and a half, thirty three and a third. Mm, oh yes, yes. Then the wizards took it. They're like this is our joke now. Mate. That's that's Australians. Sorry. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry to Australians. Sorry to British people. Um, There's platform one. Oh, there she is! Can we just, can we cross right now? Can we get on the third rail? Danny, no. You did it. You did it! And the naked gun ripped that off from Clay Fighter 63 and a third. True. All good humor is theft. Oh, it's an overhead view segment. Can I change it to a human's clothes? Can I can I do the ultimate taboo? There's There's toast in there. Is that toast? Yeah, I think so. He likes marmalade on toast if I recall. Who's hiding all this toast in their clothes? What would the U.S. equivalent of this be on the PS2? Did they let uh, people release games this bad in the U.S.? People saying this reminds them of Cheesy. Oh god, Cheesy. Another game that was exclusive to the U.K. and Japan. Maybe Paddington snuck in the night before and hit a bunch of toast there for later. Maybe the workers, maybe it's actually the workers toast and he's just stealing it. Did you see that guy bow to you and then take <laughs> your toast? Yeah, he took my toast. Fucker. I should clean up my language for this okay, bit. Okay, okay. I, I also can see the, the uh, similarities to the Family Guy game. All right, we got number two. Should we play the Family Guy game? You want to play the Family Guy game? Uh, if it has funny moments. I mean, with Family Guy, there's always a funny moment. Jeez, this guy's I, on my ass. Everything I remember about the Family Guy game is it is really atrocious. You know, all these guys uh, in the store are built using the same genes, same DNA. I see. D Leave Paddington alone! Okay, we, we did are it. Now. We found pants and a shirt and another shirt. Don't play the. Okay, super majority of chat says do not even attempt the family. All guy right, game. voting works. No family guy. Thank game. you. I don't want to play it. 
gotta say, I'm kicking this game's ass, even though this is hard mode. I'm feeling pretty good. Here, chat. A present. For you. On Paddington. Is that what he sounds like? Yes. <laughs> Next game. That was fun. I felt like I was good at video games with that. I, I like games that make me feel good. Another British hero comes up. It's Another a British hero. It's uh, Postman Pat. The old Postman Pat. <laughs> you played High on Life yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that does look like a Family Guy game. Thank you for the bits. Thank you. Entertainment rights. You know it's going to be good. Hey, entertainment has rights. We reserve the right to copyright strike you if we don't like it. It's true, unfortunately. The Code Monkeys, frequent collaborator with Phoenix Games. We haven't seen much of them. I do hope we see Postman Pat's cat, but, you know, the cat might not be here. They may not be able to render a cat, because it is Blast Entertainment. I'm coming There's for those... There's the cat! Okay! I'm Hang coming on. for those Paddington World Records. It's gonna happen. Is that his theme? Yeah. Sounds okay. Yeah, postman Pat's fine. I can get into this. He's the postman, and he's got a cat, and... You want to start watching it from the beginning? Shit, okay. I guess Danny and I are going, are going to be watching Postman Pat. All right, so here's what we're going to watch. We're going to watch all 500 episodes of Postman Pat. Uh-huh. And we're going to watch all 200 episodes of Prepata. Okay. And uh, I don't know what will happen after that. It'll, that'll take like 10 years for Pat. It's going to be a busy day today. Whoa, video! I'm out with the Greendale bike race. Oh, look at the time. I can't skip it. Isn't Julian? Well, to we're forced to be copyright struck. Oh God! <laughs> Help me pack Julian's school bag. Choose which things to put in the bag by pressing the triangle, circle, X, or square buttons. When you will lose points for putting. Can we post it? Yes, we can. That he doesn't need. Let's let's aim for a target score of five. All right, Danny, do better than five. Steady. What's oh. this kid need in his backpack? A lamp. Nope. Oh shit. Uh, nope. that. Uh, this. Nope. That. Nope. This. That's right. Okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well need some bird seed. Nope. Need a vase. Nope. Need some socks. Nope. Pie. Nope. And you need some skates. Nope. And a skateboard, of course, and a nope. book. And nope. some shampoo and well an eraser, yeah. pencil, I clock, this, know. that, That's the right. other, this, nope. all these things. I think we need all these things. <laughs> we need all these things for school. I don't know about this. <laughs> Take the dog food bowl. <laughs> I guess we should score some points, huh? You, you can't score enough points now, honey. No, I just need the shoes and the ruler and, um... The shoes already went by and so the ruler. Fuck! <laughs> yeah? I've rogered this right on up! I don't know about that. You did not <clears throat> reach the target score. I've made a real pig's ear of this, mm -hmm. alright. Let's try that again. Okay. Play for real this time. Okay, yeah, we're doing it for real. Tell okay. me which buttons to push. I okay. can't really make out the uh, details in the objects. Okay, uh, that one, yes. No. No. All right. No. This works. No. I don't need toothpaste. No. No. An extra shirt. No. No. <laughs> nope. Nope. Can we just stuff everything nope. in the backpack yeah. to be sure? Yes, yes, on the, th yeah. And that too, yes. Well done. Yes on the glasses. Yes on the pencil sharpener. Yes on the money. Yes on the eraser. Yeah, we're making this happen. Yes on the paintbrush. Oh my god, we need shoes yes on and the a- shoes. Shoes and a pencil. Oh my god, 100%. We got you all the stamps. It. And a bonus. Boy, those other guys sucked. Shit. Ah. Agreed. I'm always no. bringing fried eggs with me to school too. Yeah. yeah. That's done. Now off to work. Jess. Jess. When does he get the wrong where trousers? You, Jess. I wonder where he can be. Can you find him? Well, we gotta find Jess. Jess thinks it's funny to play hide and seek with Bonnie, <laughs> but I'm in a hurry. 
Help okay. me find Jess before I set off for work. I like how Postman Pat isn't really, uh, he's not really phased by anything. He's just like, oh, I don't like this, but what are you going to do? Looks like our bits have... Uh, oh, there we go. Our bits went away, but they came back. Come back, bit rate. There you are. Uh. There you are. There we are. Computer. Nope. Not in there. Not in there. There. You there. There you are. <laughs> there you are. Man, I'm zooming through this. Look at this. You are. You are. I won. Yes. Fortunately, we're still at zero bits. God, our freaking bit rate is gone. Yeah, internet's no one, down. No one can hear us say these things. No one can hear me investigate no, Postman no Pat's room. Well, the internet went down, folks, but uh, it'll be back up as it always is. It's taking a nap. Well done. This will be exclusively for the archive, then. Mm -hmm. hey. Do you have any exclusive jokes? Um. Nope. I wonder. There you are. Um. <laughs> you have all the time in the world to all think of All the time! All the time, because we're waiting for the bitrate to, to the internet to come back up. Um, What do you get when you cross a cat well done. with a Tesla? What? I don't know, but keep it away from me I so won. it doesn't run me over. <laughs> I you had 60 entire seconds to come up with that I joke. I did! I did! And, and nothing. Absolutely nothing. I wonder. Well, I'm going to come back with a perfect score, and everyone's going to be so impressed. They're going to think you're amazing. People There's will shit Jess. their pants over my Postman Pat play. Not in there. <laughs> Postman Pat play, your PPP. <laughs> There's a joke! There's a joke! Not really, but okay. Oh, man, I have to keep playing Postman Pat until the internet comes back. This yeah, sucks. Yeah, it, it, internet's done. This is a fate oh, worse than death. Is a lot of post. Well, Let let's see here. Out, Mrs. Goggins. First, we need to get these letters stamped. The letters Do you have your phone with you? Frank. Yeah. Can you tell the chat that we're dead? Button. Either the triangle. I don't want to keep playing Postman Pat. Come back, Internet. I wanted a variety of crap to play, not this one crap. So. Well done. Yes. I'm posting. Well done. That's right. That's right. Keep honking. I'm posting. I'm trying to find the chat. Oops. That's right. Well Why done. Why you let me go to chat? That's Where right. Yes. Yes. Do you think this is Paddington's doing? Paddington That's did this. Right. The Paddington Society? Well mm -hmm. done. They watch streams to make sure you're not saying the fuck well word done. while you play Paddington games. Yeah. Yes. And we violated the treaty. Yes. Oops. Oops, that's right. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. Postman Pat sent the stream to hell. Oops. Yeah, Oops. I can't load the chat. Right. I'll find it. Yes. Oops. There it is. All right, tell the people we're dead. And I'm <laughs> I'm still playing Postman Pat. I don't want to. I'll make Postman Pat data. I don't care. I'll do it. One second. I have to two-factor authenticate log in first. Now. Let's sort out who these letters belong to. Now we have to sort the letters. Use the dial. You get points when you. Maybe. Yes. Um. Nope. Nope. Ah. That's right. Um. Nope. Maybe. These letters are all going to the same two people. Yes. Two people oh. account for the entirety of Postman Pat's business. <laughs> um, nope. Maybe. Yes. Um, 
Man, this is so much yeah. bonus content YouTube's getting. Um, I know. YouTube's lucky. YouTube! You're eating good tonight. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is gonna be a Postman Pat long play. Ah. Just let me know. That's right. Maybe. Nope. Um. That's right. Um. Well done. Ah. What are the people saying that we're they're glad we're gone? No, they're like, oh, Spectrum, I'm so sorry, no. <laughs> Phew, thank God I can stop watching those horrible retro pals. Always shitting on my heroes like Postman Pat mm -hmm. and Paddington Bear. And, Pat. and Mr. Bean. This is just like a who's who of British television. <laughs> it really is. Ah. Well, now we're just playing games for ourselves. What's the point? Oh my, <laughs> it's getting windy. I hope it calms down for the bike race. I'd better get these parcels loaded into the post van. Load them up. I wonder if I can fit them all in. Ride them out. Rod I need pie. to try to load as many of these parcels into the van as I can. Use the directional button to choose a parcel. and then... Let's load. It's Parcel Tetris! I wonder. Oh, it is Parcel Tetris! Wow! Right. This is... I kind of like this. That must be right. No, well, except it tells you where they're supposed to go. Yeah, that's bullshit. Let the babies figure it out. If you want your babies to grow up big and strong, um, they can figure this out on their own. Mm -hmm. Tess, you want to go reset the modem? Alright, let me let Tess out. Okay. Reset the modem. Tess, come with me. Reset the modem. Can you not rotate the pieces? Postman Pat, you crazy for this one. I wonder. Maybe. I wonder. I wonder. Maybe. I don't know about that. Mm, don't know about that one. If I get through this whole game while we're offline, I'm going to laugh. This is going to be a new world record. Oh no! Some of the post has blown away in the wind. I hope the children will help me gather them up. The children can can't help you, Postman post Pat. Use the directional button. Oh, this is bullshit! Almost. This sucks! The mail is all blowing away in the wind, Alex! Yes. Danny, what'd you do? What happened? I, fucked up. I what'd fucked up! I fucked up! What'd you do? What'd you do? I fucked up! Danny! These are people's Amazon packages! These are their pills and prescriptions! Yeah, well... Christmas is ruined! <laughs> Christmas is totally ruined! Well... I... I reset the modem and, and the router, so hopefully you know, we'll be back. If not, um, Postman Pat. Oh, you have to put the things in the thing. Yeah. Oh, man. I was just grabbing at stuff willy-nilly. Are these like... <laughs> you tossed so many letters in the trash. Whoops. <laughs> you committed crimes. That's a green one that probably has money in it. You have to separate the trash from the... The treasure. From from the yeah, I guess. Target score not reached. Not reached. Gotta retry it all. again. I got all the time in the world. We're in the stream uh Twilight Nearly. Zone. Nearly. What do you call that place between heaven and hell? Almost. Purgatory? Almost. Yeah, stream purgatory. Almost. This Nearly. postman bat. Yes. Well, good got news it. is internet's right. back on, on uh, my end, but Nearly. not on our end. 
Okay. All right, gotta get back into stream mode. Everyone be normal. There we are. There are we, there? we are. Are we alive? I think so. Or, no, we still have zero bits. But the internet's back. Nearly? We nearly got it. I think I should stop streaming and come back. Yeah, try that. This okay. is a parcel for Ted Glenn. I wonder what he's been ordering this time. I wonder if it's a part to fix his truck. We'd What's old Ted been ordering? He loses him and his shack. Items. Danny! <laughs> Ted's truck hey! Bitrate's back! Planes. Is it? Yep. yep. I've been doing a long play of... Jump uh, scare! I've been doing a long play of Postman Pat over here while we waited for the internet to come back. Hey, everybody. Yeah, there's this... You, you, you didn't see it, but it'll be in the YouTube uh, highlight. Mm-hmm. You missed a whole lot of exclusive content about Postman Pat, and now he's pissed off. He's at the, the Spectrum testing track, fucking up all their stuff. So you didn't miss much. Uh, I fucked up all the mail, and the mail went to scattered to the winds, and I had to grab it out of the air. But I ended up putting all the mail in the garbage can, and apparently that's not what you're supposed to do. That's literally what happened. You'll just have to trust me on it. And now I'm trying to load up our stream on my end, and I'm seeing all these streams I'd rather be watching. Oops. It's not even gonna show us Oops. here. Oops. 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 Well done. There we are with zero viewers. Nice. That's what I like to see. He does sound like George W. Bush saying oops. He does! <laughs> So did I win? I wasn't looking at the screen. I you guess won. I did. Nice. You could play this game without even looking at the screen. That's high praise Ted for Postman Pat. Search for the missing post by using his new invention. Oh no! Ted Don't do that. Show me where the rest of the missing letters are. Move, Ted. He can't help me. Ted, what are you doing with the missing letters? Nothing. It's fine. Ted. Don't ask what's going on with Ted's letters. Ted, you seem really interested in the mail. That's right. Well done. This is bizarre. Well, I can definitely say. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. That's the ending of the sequence. Postman Pat tried as hard as he could, but in the end, Ted was not high enough, and the target score was not reached. Next game. That was a nice extended look at Postman Pat, you can see on YouTube later. But we gotta move on to bigger and better things, like Thomas and Friends. I was telling Alex during the break how we saw a veritable who's who of British television. Oh no, it's an iToy game! Oh, we can't, we can't be with Thomas and Friends. You can't go have a day at the races? That's bullshit! We saw Postman Pat, we saw uh, Paddington Bear. We're not gonna they get to see- They won't even give us a crucified Thomas! Yeah, we the... don't even get a crucified Thomas. This is- this is a travesty. Next game, I guess. What a shame. Well, oh man, you like if you like Captain Scarlet, you're gonna love this. It's time for the Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds are go with all 62 megabytes of their video game. <laughs> you should do an iToy stream. I'd have to like put on a disguise or something. I'll be on camera. Okay. I'll do it. I don't care. You can see my great balding head. I I gotta get one of those uh, full body anime girl suits. You do actually. I think that would make a great eye toy stream. Holy shit! I shouldn't have said that out loud. That's just yeah, giving away a free steal idea. Yeah, now. Yeah. I would dress up as a jester. I need to get a jester hat though, and one of those staffs that the jesters have. You know, I could probably make one of my own staff. Oh man! Oh no! Not the coyotes. I think actual coyotes make these games. Yeah, Danny is going to be the ass maid. <laughs> Look! Is the internet really back? Internet's 
back, yes. Okay, I had an ass made uh, experience the other day. Another one? No, I didn't dream it. It happened in real life. I was... I was putting... I was fitting the sheets on the bed. And I... And I... Part of me bumped into the Philips CDI shelf. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Long story short, a copy of Sticky Bear Reading fell on my ass. Anyway, let's play... Let's play Thunderbirds, a game that I for sure am going to hate. Bear indeed. You Look, are the ass maid. Come on. You're the one who revealed you were the ass maid on stream. Oh. oh, this one's loud. Oh, this looks like it sucks. Yeah, you don't have a dedicated Philips CDI shelf? Mm -hmm. What the hell? I use it to showcase my sealed copies of uh, Girls Club and Flowers of Robert Maplethorpe. Truly beautiful. And uh, a copy of Sticky Bear Breeding. That needs to be reined in. I guess so. Well, this isn't like any of the other Blast games we played, but also... It fucking sucks. Yeah, are you able to go up or down? Uh, I can do this! <laughs> oh, it's a landing. Okay, I see. Do you need to land where those little spots are? Like those, uh, red... Yeah, let's try that. I can barely make out the, uh, the thing. Okay, we gotta switch between flight and landing mode. Use a left analog stick to drive Thunderbird over. This is important, because they're not letting me skip it. 100 bits from the Ultima, thank you. This, yeah, very, very Flash, uh, vibes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fuck! You died. <laughs> I didn't think I'd explode. Let's try that again. Oh no, oh no, 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 no! You're the not the even momentum! Close. The momentum! <laughs> We're good. We're good. There you go. There you go. Oh man, there's wind? I gotta worry about the freaking wind? We did it. Yay! We landed. We're collecting survivors. Gotta go to the other one. Did they do this in the show a lot? I don't know. I actually haven't watched a full episode of Thunderbirds. I know it's liked. I know what it is. I've seen uh, the, the spin-off, Team America. I don't think that was official, though. Hard to judge distance. Multiple people comparing this to Lunar Lander? Yeah, yeah. I like Lunar Lander. Do I like this? I'm not sure if I do. Alright. What does that say? Uh, radioactive containers must now be moved to avoid an ecological disaster. Use Thunder 2's grappling hook. Grappling hook? Thunderbird 2! Oh, it's the flying pancake! And you need to transport the radioactive barrels. So... Who's that asshole in the upper left? Uh, I want to say that's you. He looks really calm. This game's too complicated for me. Watch out for the crosswind! You're just picking up garbage. Why not? That guy's name. Tri uh, it tri oh, is that? Tri I have no idea what that guy's name is. It it has been it Johnny Thunderbird. Yes. Johnny Thunderbird. This looks like shitty blast corpse. Yes. It does. Did we ever meet up with Johnny Eggs? No, but apparently you meet him in a spoilers Vietnam flashback. Oh, that's where Johnny Eggs is from. He was hanging out in Vietnam. It told me to take it somewhere, but where do Probably I take it? Probably where the green dot is. Wow, I didn't even see that. Oh. What, what happened? I don't know. It's okay. It's normal. Don't worry about it. Let's try that again. 
Oh, this sucks. Having to deal with the, the, the tailwind is the worst. Alright, here we go. Alright. As far as I can tell, you can't change your elevation in this game, which is a problem because there's hills and shit. Yeah, it does suck. Where is this thing? Uh huh. Perfect. Just put it out right there, right it's in the fine. field. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That's right? someone right else's next problem. Next to the field. <laughs> right next to the water supply. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the also, important part. Awesome doesn't need to to worry. The important Hi part is we put it over state lines, so it's someone else's problem. Hi, Dream Marrier. Welcome. Hey, welcome. The, this uh, is the Thunderbirds. We're playing Thunderbird. I'm gonna do this one more time. Oh man, it expects me to do it two more times. How about this? How about we just take this back home? Okay. We'll sell it to someone. Some of our delicious, delicious, uh. Whoops. Lost. That's probably fine. Let's go on to the next game. Wow, that sucked. Birds. That sucked in a way I wasn't expecting. That's pretty creative for you, uh, Blast Entertainment. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we're going from, from one big name in aerial combat to another big name in aerial combat. What would a game based on Top Gun look like if it was developed by Blast Entertainment? I think it'd go a little something like this. English, Francais, Espanol, Deutsch, Italiano, Netherlands, Dansk, Portuguese, Norsk. Warning, you're about to play a Blast Entertainment game. Are you sure? No. This is pretty timely. There was a Top Gun sequel out recently. There was! It, it made a lot of money, too. Wait, what happened to the logo? Viacom Company! Oh, yeah, what happened there? The logo messed Whoops. up. <laughs> that looks so fucked up. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, boy! Get the fuck out! You don't like all Get out! Get out! I don't like... I don't like this. This is the uh, freedom uh, freeway zone. The freeway to the freedom zone is what I meant to say. <laughs> On ramp to Liberty Town. Oh, we're breaking it down. Oh, this sucks. Hi, this is Black. No! Fuck, He's get got away! A different voice. With a little help from me and a little help from Black. This eye's fucked together, up. We'll show you how to what happened? Top gun. The plane is controlled. He doesn't look like he's wicked anymore. Sticks. He just looks like he has a fucked up face. The left analog stick, now this one, allows you, the player, to bank and pitch the plane. Like this. He is definitely a grotty little man. I dislike him. He's telling me about pitch and yaw like I don't know. The right analog stick controls the thrust and slowing oh, down the Oh, the Paramount the logo is messed by up in the real the right game too. That's forward, so good. You accelerate. That kicks ass. And by moving it backwards, you slow down. The X button turns on your boosters. It has to be held down to boosters. keep the boosters on. Your boosters like may very combat. well come in useful, especially when maneuvering. You're, you're setting yourself up to be the ass tuber. The triangle button <laughs> is used be. to switch to select targets like this. I didn't sign like up for this. The circle button is used to cycle through secondary button. weapons, which are missiles and bombs. Looks good. The L1 button will fire your secondary weapons. The R1 button will fire your machine guns. I don't think if they had a sense of shame when they made this, they the wouldn't L2 suddenly develop a sense of shame now. will perform now. an evasive yeah. bank to the left, like this. It can also be used in combination with your left analog stick. Yeah, I also heard missiles and bombs. <laughs> like this. <laughs> The R2 button push the open button an to switch the game. The right. It can also be used in combination with your left analog stick to perform maneuvers like this. Pressing the L2 button. Do you think they made this guy do multiple takes the only to sound more chipper each time? Full sound maneuver. happier, damn it. Pressing the So by the time they got to this take, he was like, "Hey, I'm the blast entertainment guy." Yes. Degree maneuver. That's exactly what happened. They're like, "When you press more the L2 button, that's your left analog stick." This will show you the bomb target view. <laughs> Pressing the L3 button after the missile has been fired will show you the missile's view so you can see where it's going. <laughs> I 
Well, Alex, you've seen the bump target view. Let's head on in. Let's bomb that bum. The bump target view. <laughs> yeah, they're zeroing in on ass, man. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's time for Top Gun. They make an awful lot of Top Gun games, considering there's only two movies released like 30 years apart. I thought there were two. Were there two? Was there a Top Gun 2 or am I? I thought there were three Top Gun movies. I am probably wrong, but I need to check. Follow the waypoints! Alright, let's do that. Do I just. Am I. Is this a Goncharov moment? Did I just imagine Top Gun 2? I think. Alex, I don't think there's a Top Gun 2. I think the people can confirm that there was never a Top Gun 2. Can you uh, turn us down? Oh yeah, we're still pretty. Okay, Oops. Chad is Chad is like, no, there is no Top Gun two. That was like, no, that was so I sudden. I sworn in the two thousands there was a Top Gun straight to video. Didn't Ace Combat get sponsored by Top Gun? That sounds know, thank you. that sounds like something that would happen. No, I'm checking. Let me check Letterbox. Fail no. Yeah, you're thinking of Days of Thunder. Yeah, I love that extreme hard cut the second you crash. Just like it's over, you're done. Was I thinking of Top Gunner? Why would you ever be thinking of Top Gunner? What was I thinking of? Where's my map? I really believe there was a Top Gun 2 that came out in, two th in the 2000s! Look at this! I'm stunting, I'm hot dogging. No, like. I'm doing a barrel roll. I can see like the, the rabbit said. In my it, 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 it was direct to video in my head, and it's got a white background with the plane on it. Tom uh -huh. Cruise was not in it. I, I Did I just make this? I think that should be a big hint that Tom Cruise wasn't in it. My, well, because it was a direct to video movie. What was I thinking? We gotta find this movie that Alex mistook for Top Gun. I know. I think that I, I may have imagined it in a dream or something. <laughs> Yes, this is this is I dream about ass made. You dream about uh I dream about non -existent going to convention top gun sequels. Yeah, non existent top gun sequels and setting up A V equipment at convention halls, which happened yes yet again in a dream. God. Same dream, we move and I have to set up a bunch of retro A V equipment and then I also have to do some work in a convention hall. I found a target. I must have been confusing it with some direct video thing, because I used to work at a video store from like 2002 through 2005, so it could have just been some random shit I saw there. Alright, I'm checking this out. I, I, I gotta know. See? Top Gun 2! <laughs> I think that's fake, Alex. Wrong. I think the people are trying to bamboozle you. Because you were so gullible about Top Gun sequels. It was an iPhone game. Okay, so it wasn't in the video stores. Well, then what did I see in the video stores? Whoops. That's the end of that. That sucked. I played a whole bunch of mission-based flying games on the PS1. Check it out. Agile Warrior. Black Dawn. Soviet Strike. Nuclear Strike. This came so many years later, and it's so much worse in every possible way. Good job, guys. Fuck, I say. <laughs> Next Not a game. fan? Fuck you. What's next, Alex? It's Wacky Races! So, you know, it's gonna have that great racing engine you love. Oh, yeah. It's time for some Wacky Races. Mad Motors. At least we got to see the bum target view. Are you looking at me bum target view? <laughs> <laughs> you bum looker. I'm sorry, but if, if Assmate is real, then bum target view is absolutely going to be a uh, uh, redeem. Good news. The same team as the last game. Um, I hate this Coyote team. Same team took on Top Gun and Wacky Races. That's how you start the game? That's how you start the game? Chad, does anyone know who that is? Yeah, this game killed a guy. Is that is that a voice actor or Let's go on the wacky adventure. Game musician, okay. A game musician. Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you for letting me know. Uh wow, apparently, yeah. Huh. Hmm. What a tribute. In this they of all things. They composed the cannon fodder theme? Oh man! 
Rest in peace. You deserve a better tribute than this. I was not thinking of Heat Seeker. Knock it off. I really swear. <laughs> it was real in my head. Alex getting annoyed. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a mock-up and post it in the Discord, like, this weekend. And you're gonna see. Well, we played the fucking Flintstones racing game, and this is much the same. I wouldn't be surprised if there was the exact same engine. Why did that happen? Um, game broke. <laughs> what if I hit? Oh! This guy good? Don't worry about it. I think I, took, I think I took one guy out of the race. Oh, that's the that's the nitro. I see, I see. Who am I playing as? I didn't get to see. Uh, looks like you're playing as a, a slackjawed yokel, a hillbilly. Okay. Hillbilly and a bear. Anybody know who this is? Some of y'all gotta know. Some of y'all about the wacky races. Well, I would be doing pretty well if I hadn't been knocked off course by some miscreant. That is not the Apple Dumpling Gang! Knock it off! <laughs> Alex has been pushed too far tonight. No, I mean... Luke and Blubber Bear, thank you for the real... Oh my god! I... Alright. Whoop, 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 whoop. The Arkansas Chugabug. So that's a moonshine still. Oh. Cool. See, we're learning. Hanna Barbera history is everybody's history. You know what? When I moved to the south, I really thought I'd see a lot more moonshine in, and more moonshine stilling. Yeah, not uh, there's not much of that nowadays. Yeah, all the moonshine stuff, it's like you can it's all, like, official and stuff. You can get, like, official-ass moonshine all over the place. Yeah, they gentrified moonshine. They did! They gentrified moonshine! You can go to Dollywood, like, in the town the Dollywood's in, and do a bunch of, like, fancy moonshine tours. Last lap, let's go. It is more of an Appalachia thing than the, uh... than Texas, I suppose. What illegal booze does Texas do? Uh, I can't say that on stream. Okay, that's true. By the way, don't look in the bathtub. I I won't. I won't. I won't. Huh? This is my least favorite mechanic, turning over on your side and just losing all your speed. There is a craft moonshine industry in in like in the south. There really is. Yeah. I can't repeat the story that chat just uh just, just let me know about. But that is an amazing apple dumpling game. <laughs> Congrats, that guy. That's that's insane. Anyways, it's time for the hair bear bunch or whatever. I did it. I beat a race. I... The Arkansas Chugabug coming in behind the Crimson Hay Baler, Turbo Terrific, Buzz Wagon, Boulder Mobile. Are these even real? Where's Dick Dastardly? Is, is that is that him in third? I don't think it is. I'm sorry too. You failed. He's failed. I'm sorry too. These are all real, real wacky racers. Yeah. All right, I'll take your word for it. Hmm. Hmm. Not good. I gotta say, Blast Entertainment's racing games are among their weakest and least interesting, which sucks for wacky races. Which. It should have been better. It should have been better. Next. Water Horse, Legend of the Deep. A.K.A. Finally. the Copyright Strike Pals. Finally, let's go. Water Horse. Do I have no, to... I'm doing a search again, because I... Is that Oh, it? he looks so disgusting. Is I that the Water Horse? Thing. Yes, the Water Horse is a disgusting looking beast. It looks horrible. I thought it was a horse. No! It's a Kelpie or whatever. Bloop. All right, letterboxed. Where the hell can I? Where can I direct the people to see the water horse legally? It's on HBO Max. Yes, Danny, we can watch the water horse. Do you no, watch not Atomic Planet. Anything but Atomic Don't Planet. Do you want to watch the water horse? Anything but Atomic Planet. That's the last thing I want to see. 
I've been beaten down. The stream lost all of its bits. And now I have to play the water horse, who isn't even a horse. Ooh, it's got a 2.8 on uh, letterbox. That's how you know it's good. I'm pretty sure, hold on, this is a 2.8. This is a 2.8. Do you know what the movie Frankenhooker has on Letterboxd? What? A 3.5. Wow. This movie is worse than that, so this is a bad movie. You can stream Top Gun 2 in my imagination. <laughs> the sequel to Water Horse, Ass, Ass Horse. Horse. Let's do story mode. Let's skip that. Let's skip that too. I ain't taking any risks. Crusoe I don't know the watch. <laughs> Crusoe, who's Crusoe? Thank you, Vega Baby, for the raid. We are playing the Water Horse, which, uh. We got any fans of the Water Horse out there? Thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. What is this? What? Alex! I love this. It's helping my sneaking ability. I'm confused by this. You're the water horse friend. Can you help me? Can you help me? <laughs> He's crying. Good job. <laughs> oh my god. I expected help. Well, you can't trust people. You can only trust the water horse. Do you support the water horse? I don't even know what he is. He is... A... Well, let's look at the synopsis. Yeah, this is real Pee Wee's music, isn't it? I'll just wander around collecting stuff. Yeah, for anyone just now joining, we've been playing nothing but PAL exclusive PlayStation 2 games tonight. The water horse is a Kelpie. Some worse than others. You've said that word like three times and I still don't know what it is. Folks, what's a Kelpie? Wrong answers only. Okay, so reviews. First review. Yeah. Half a star on Letterboxd. That thing ain't a fucking horse. <laughs> Was that written by me? Five star review. What the fuck does... Why the fuck does Water Horse have a 2.8 star average? Guys, this is a beautiful film about prejudice and love and the innocence of children, and I will not stand to this slander. Okay. Don't stand for it, then. I ain't gonna stop Scottish you. Scottish <laughs> Free Willy is it's also being called. Scottish Free Willy. Let's see, the horse has Shrek ears. Leave it to the British people to be stupid. Yeah, Water Horse sounds great. I was thinking it was just a Loch Ness monster. Why are they trying to pretend it's something different? Kelpie is okay. Let me tell you about let me okay. Now, Alright, it's so time I, for Alex to get all offended I about have to Kelpies. Let me tell you about what a Kelpie is. Kelpie mythology. Last time he did this, I told him I didn't know what a chicat was. This is the shape-shifting spirit inhabiting locks in Scottish folklore. It is usually described as being a black horse. And, uh, if I recall, it can also um, disguise itself as a uh, attractive woman. Um, if you're from Australia, you might compare it to the bunyip. Ah, the bunyip. You remember the bunyip? No. No. It takes so long to throw things. I think you just need to go around collecting the big glowy things. Oh, my my dinosaur meter is running out. He's, I think he's dying. Where is he? Um, he needs food. I. <laughs> You've been the one looking at your damn phone I, yeah, instead I, of helping I, our beautiful son. Lose. Lose. Fuck you, Water Horse. <laughs> Giving me the L like this on a Friday night. The, the Kelpie's nature was described as useful, hurtful, or seeking human companionship. And in some cases, Kelpies take their victims into the water, devour them, and throw their entrails to the water's edge. So, um, by keeping this child from the Kelpie, we probably uh, saved his life. Quick game. Game over. See, he's gonna. this guy's going to eat him. See, he's like, wow, cool creature, and this guy is just like, yum, dinner, can't wait to eat this child. And, and tosses entrails on the side of the sea. 
Wow. You think you know a water horse. You think you do. Let's move on to our last game. We got one more game in the uh, the old Last Entertainment catalog. Xena Warrior Princess. They made a Xena game. I can't wait to play the Xena game. Xena. There we go. What other Xena games have we played? We played one on N64. That was like a fighting game. And we played the one on uh, the DVD adventure game. Holy wow. crap. Oh, man. Last Entertainment, you've outdone yourselves. You know what? I will make that save data. You know what I like? The color mauve. This looks like shit, Danny. This is a very nice mauve. Do I need to fix the interlacing again? Or well, me. God, that DVD game was so good. We gotta play more multipath adventures. I do have more of them. No. There's even done. PC exclusive no, multipath no, adventures. No, no, There's no. a Popeye. There's a Popeye multipath adventure. Yeah, and there's a Superman one. All kinds. Which chakram do you want? Um start a game? This this looks really cheap. This looks really cheap. This? This somehow looks way cheaper than any other game we've seen so far. It's also incredibly quiet. So, does this have uh, Lucy Lawless in it? Does this have Gabrielle? Does this have Joxer the Mighty? It better have Joxer. Joxer's like a jester, so I like him. Oh, that's why he's called that! Yeah. Fuck! I can't read that. Can you read that for Ah, uh, Xena Warrior Princess, it's good that you're here. I also have a feeling that after all these eons, you will at last consent to come back to my side where we can rule the universe together. Ares, God of War, and Xena Warrior Queen. Hurry! You will say yes, won't you, Xena? Or Gabrielle will never say anything ever again. That's Gabrielle. Gabrielle. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Gabrielle has been robbed of her beautiful voice and uh, every other thing that defined her, apparently. Request from Sass from chat. Could yeah. you uh, jump off the bridge here at the start? Yeah, sure. Cool, thank you. I can't believe we've played every single Blast Entertainment game for the PS2. How do you feel? I feel more worldly. I feel like uh, I understand the world a little bit better now. Remember, time's against you. I feel great grief for the UK and all the I'm children. I'm not leaving here without her. And all the children who grew up with games like this. Well, this looks so... Okay, never mind. That jump. That jump. <laughs> all right. Good. Occasionally she'll just vocalize. I like that. Oh, this little run she's doing. She looks a little stubby is the thing. She does! I like it! It's a little, like... It's, it's a tiny Zena. Zena! I'm not reading that. Zena, when they captured me, I knew you'd come as they dragged me through this infernal castle to who knows can I, where. I'll can I see the game? For you. Can I, I please can. just see so the game? <laughs> there's a switch on the upper hold dog. I just want to grab onto this block. You can then push it or pull it. I just want to see the game. <laughs> oh my god, Whoa, she's, she's fast. fast! Holy shit! She can fuck up a Sokoban, I tell you what. You got the mercy of Hades! Nice. Cool. So I think that's a checkpoint. Ugh. Hold on. This, are, this seems a little oversized for, for Zena. Yeah! <laughs> What's she She's looking so like? tiny! It's tiny Xena! This is like Xena kids. She's so stubby, I love her. Uh oh! I mean, the textures aren't great, but. She's still going. Wow. I don't know what I expected for this, but this is somehow way, way below the standards of what I thought I'd be seeing. I love her run. 
I like never being able to see the gameplay screen because it's always <laughs> being taken up by text. Text that I didn't bother to read because I couldn't. Uh, Was there anything important? Yeah, you need to grab an object and throw it. Oh, okay. Or try to break down the door. Oh, you can just beat up the door, yeah. Yeah, do it. Beat it up. Yeah! <laughs> this is dire. Oh, it's fine. Poor kids. It looks better than Lassie. Folks in the UK, you know that your country's going through all kinds of problems right now. I think all of them can be traced back to this game, and specifically Blast Entertainment. I think if you punish Blast Entertainment, everything else should fall into uh, place. Yeah. It's just someone has to suffer for this, and not the kids who played this. You can first person throw your chakra, no idea how, though. All right, yeah. It did mention that was a... Huh? It's fine. You, uh, you got summoned back through the uh, power of Hades. I see. Checkpoint. Oh, you have a sword now! Cool. That'll probably help. I'm just checking out all the buttons. Yeah, let's, let's take the sword back out. Okay. Go, Xena, go. It's like this tower was built for giants. Yeah, she's so tiny! She's like... God, she's like that, that, that tweet about Bruce Sprinky drinking the Tinykin. <laughs> you know that tweet, right? Yeah. Okay, I think if I, I'm sorry, our roommate PC98 Jr. quotes it to me all the time. I am short, so. Now can I use the chakram? Circle button does nothing. Oh yeah, the jumps! Look at this little jump! I love her jump. By the way, the yelling, that's something she does randomly instead of attacking when you push the attack button. She leans back. Oh, man. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Doors of Citadel look solid, but you can break them open. Changed my mind. This is my favorite Blast Entertainment game. Maybe it's just recency bias, but uh, I'm really enjoying this one. And to its credit, it's not by Atomic Planet. That's good! <laughs> The way you die is so funny. I'm going back up there. How do you regain health? I don't know. I don't know. Hang on, I gotta bring my yeah. friend with me. <laughs> this is how I run. She's daintily walking like a cat who just picked up a fish in its mouth. Mm -hmm. Whoops. I love when she screams instead of attacking. God, that's good. <laughs> Just leave him alone. And it's it's random too, is the thing. Sometimes you get an attack, sometimes you get a, a yelp. That gave you a little bit of health. Okay. Uh, cool. The next checkpoint. We gotta get there. Was that unavoidable fall damage? I don't know, but you didn't die. <laughs> Push the switches. Push the switches. Whoa. Oh, man. We found the underground circus. Oh, yay! Where do we get to meet the jester? I don't want to go there. Oh, Danny. <laughs> There's jesters afoot. There's a jester. A jester was here recently. <laughs> There's a jester here to pester. Oh my god. Fuck this. Fuck this game. Fuck all these games. Are you alright? I've played so many shitty PS2 games and uh -huh. yet 
none of them here in NTSC land could have prepared me for the quality on display with Blast Entertainment. Just to think, if people had voted for Phoenix games, we might have seen games that were even worse. So that's something to look forward to in the future. If you yeah. liked uh, how shitty these games are, there are even shittier ones in the future. It's just we were, uh, we were spared from the true horror this time around. Can I... I want to climb. Let me climb. What? You climbed a second ago. But that's Blast Entertainment and Xeno Warrior Princess on <laughs> PS2. There's one last thing I wanted to show off. Alex, why don't you shut this down? And we'll go back to one of uh, our earlier games to close things out. People told me there was more to an American tale when we last played it, but I couldn't get past that first level because it was impossible. Uh, good news, I got past the first level. Alex, why don't you hit system and then load state? That one. Oh, we're back with this shit again. All I gotta do is beat this level and then we can move on. Oh, for fucks. Do you want me to load the state? No. Okay. I got this. I was just offering. If I was thinking, I would have saved state right at the exit. Instead of the impossible segment leading up to the exit. You hear this? Yeah, the sax. Thirteen. The thing is, I never found all the stars, but you... Turns out you don't need all of them, you just need to get to the cheese. Hey, you did it! Alright, what's the next level like? I'm gonna assume, uh... Good? Yeah, it's good. It's gonna be good instead of bad. Yeah, it's finally good. <laughs> the secret to an American tale. It turns into a good game at level 2. Yeah, this is a rare opportunity to see past the first level in a, of an American tale for PS2. I hope you appreciate it. Can't watch that. Nope. It's a bonus level with even more um, bubble rolling. Oh, Danny. Because you're in a bubble and it's fun. Anyway, the good thing about this is you can skip it. Oh, thank God. A bonus level so good you don't even have to play it. Honestly, thanks. But I found out there's more to uh, bubble rolling in this game. I mean, there's more than it. There are other gameplay mechanics. You okay. gotta guide uh, Fievel's new friend Henry through the harbor of New York. Watch out for obstacles in the busy harbor. What? There we go. This is one of the shittiest things I've ever seen on the PS2. <laughs> Holy shit. This looks like garbage. Uh, the gameplay here is literally just Superman 64, except instead of rings, you gotta collect these uh, bl piles of shit, apparently. Yeah. It runs crappily. It looks worse than you could ever imagine. And I think it really sums up Blast Entertainment on the PS2. Oh my god. Just delivering untold levels of shit based on properties you haven't thought of in a million years. That's what I think of when I think of Blast Entertainment. The fact that they sided with people like the creators of Ninja Bread Man, uh, that being Data Design Interactive, who made this, along with Atomic Planet, who may be even worse, they are definitely on my shit list after this. But I will say... If you got an afternoon to waste, and you literally have nothing better to do, <laughs> you could play some Blast Entertainment games on the PS2. You this has could. been an eye-opening experience as an American. I had no idea it was this bad in PAL land. This does seem like a PS1 game, I'm yes. Stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Bird dead. I'm stuck. Henry has no energy. What a time we've had. Remember the, uh, the bowling game? Yes. That's really good. Remember Lassie? God, the hit detection on this. Hey, Lassie was bad. Lassie was horrible. Remember when Babe fell in the hole? Yes. We had multiple games based on pig movies. Pig movies that were old at the time that the games were made. <laughs> Game based on an American tale, which is what, like late 80s? Mm-hmm. What a time. What a legacy. What a time. Maybe someday we'll cover Mastertronic's earlier releases for the ZX Spectrum, because they were pretty much always like this. It's just a matter of us finding out. we got to dig deep. Maybe someday we will cover the Mastertronic catalog. 
if we really want to subject you to some shit. That's so mean, though. I think we're going to run out of energy. <laughs> that freaking bird took out right in front of us. That's an American tale, and that is blast entertainment for the PS2. I hope I never see another one of those games as long as I live. I'm still a big fan of Beverly Hills Cop. I'm glad that's the only Blast Entertainment game I have a, a legit copy of. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna that's gonna remain the case. I don't think I I need official copies of any of the other games we played. Are you sure? Yeah, well, hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that one. What about Action Man Adam? Uh, the 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 Adam uh, Alpha Teens on Machines. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to think about it. Why? 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 I don't want to think about it either. There's only one thing I want to think about, and what? that is the fact that it's the weekend. It's the weekend, everybody. Enjoy it. Don't play Blast Entertainment don't. games. God, for God's sake, go Love play yourself. literally anything else. <laughs> Hope you have a good one. Uh, patrons, you can head to patreon.com slash retropals right now, and if you're in the $5 tier, you can vote on our latest poll. Next week, we're going video mode, and we are going to watch episodes of Classic Gaming TV. Uh, your choices are Bad Influence or Video Power. The oh. UK versus the US. Two shows of uh, varying quality. And uh, we hope to show off at least one of them. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what's going to win. When I when I looked at the poll, it was literally 50-50. So you have a chance to make your voice heard. Make it heard. Make it heard. Make it heard. We're also on YouTube. YouTube.com slash RetroPals. We post full-length highlights of our streams there including our latest one, which is a look at Tecmo's uh, NES and arcade history. So do take a look at that. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> this will also be on YouTube, so you'll get to see the uh, Postman Pat segment if you if uh, if you missed it on stream. <clears throat> you'll see Danny's amazing Postman Pat play. Like, real, real... Uh... Do they still say MLG? Is Major League Gaming still a thing? Might um, yeah, sure. Okay. Let's bring back MLG. No scope, 360. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, and bump target you. That was really nice. Yeah, bump targeting. I'm going to remember bump targeting for a long time. That was so good. Great. All right, it looks like Bad Game Hall of Fame is live and answering questions about uh, their website and the games that they cover. Uh, Cass here has a whole lot of experience with horrible video games, so if you have questions for them, I'm sure they can answer them. Mm -hmm. Enjoy that. Have a good weekend. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.